Road Podcaster. Okay, focus ride. Exit. Why is nothing working? Well, I can hear you. Oh, it is working. Okay. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> right. This is an old but reliable mic. It's my original Road Podcaster, the big white one I used to have. Sounds good, nice. actually. Ah, good. Sweet. Okay. No more crackly. Yep. Cool. Oh, so that means it is the mic. Uh, well, it still could be the focus, right? Because I'm bypassing it entirely. I'm just plugging the mic into the keyboard at the moment. <coughs> okay, and I still don't have a stream. It keeps saying my live stream finishes. Check nope, it now. Excellent. Check it now. It's the network's dropping out all the time. Oh, the network that is cable weird. On the um, on the dock, it's dropping out all the time. So I've just gone to Wi-Fi. It's working now. It's all good. Okay, that is weird. Okay, so uh, we can continue. We'll just take it off from here. Right, um, so you guys were talking to Dr. Danielle. Mm -hmm. She is giving you the information. She also has something else to give you. So I'm just showing this to you now. She has gone through Ooh. and made a sketch of the um, floor Ooh, plans sorry. Oh, yes, it's not Paul, a very good Paul, map. Paul, you're really loud, yeah. mate. You're really loud. I am really loud? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Normally that's what people say to me. <laughs> Minus the Paul part. Is this <laughs> making any <laughs> difference? No. No, okay, that must be my headphone knobbly bit. The lazy end is playing window sounds now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm trying to turn down the volume, thinking maybe I should turn it down. No, no, no. Yeah. I'll turn it down at this end. Okay. Um and put volume is at a hundred. That's better. Well, That's better. Seventy-five. How's that? That's good. I can put you back on a hundred percent in Discord now. Oh, cool. Oh, is that what you did? Turn down Discord. That's good. Idea. Yeah, I just turned. I just turned pulled out Discord. So. Yelling at me. Please <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> getting screamed at. I'm sitting here with happy, happy ears. <laughs> Yes, so she has made a horrible sketch. It is not very good, as you can tell. This is, uh, uh, what do you mean it's not very I, good? I'm pretty impressed. What do you mean a horrible yeah. sketch? It's pretty, pretty good. If, you want to see horrible sketch, I'll do it for you next time. Then we'll talk about horrible sketches. <laughs> um, so she says, um, there, yeah, she recommends going in late tonight, but there is a gala today. Um, and she has asked you... If you are able to get tickets to the gala, which I do believe uh, Ruth, yeah, your character Ruth's already had tickets. Yes. Yep. I got, uh, well, my character has a, a ticket for herself, but she would have been able to get them for everyone. her buddies, right? Yep. Easy peasy. Yep. So, Not you guys, but. Oh, okay. Her buddies. I was kidding. I was joking. <laughs> wow. Is there Oof. anything else you would like to ask Dr. Danielle? Um, that makes it sound like she has other things to tell us. <laughs> just, <laughs> it is a classic, classic DM thing, isn't it? Anything else you want to do before you, before you <laughs> leave the room? Would you like to ask? You know, it's up to you, though. It's fine. It's fine. You do what you want. <laughs> um, but um, I don't have anything personal, so if you guys do, then... Uh, okay. Uh, let's do, see, no, I will actually. I want to ask. Um, yes. So I'm just thinking, sort of, how to, what sort of. Does she have any idea how many security guards are there uh, um, at night? Yeah, um, she said during the gala, security will be beefed up a little. You might see a couple of guards walking around at night because of the nature of all the artifacts. She's guessing around 10 to 15 guards on duty. She doesn't know exact numbers because most staff are told to vacate, but she says there's about 15 guards on the payroll. Okay. Do you know what computer system they use? What security system they use? Like the make of it? Like uh, the closed circuit TV or anything like that? 
Uh, they do have CCTV available. Um, they have some internal alarm system that can feed directly to um, the guards. So as soon as an alarm triggers, it'll tell the guards where to go. Uh, uh, the guards have their own radio system. That they, it's a simple push button and um, it'll trigger an alarm. Yeah, panic button. So yep. Ms. Diaz, uh, do, you, do you know of any way you can hack into this computer system? All the CCTV so we can have nosy around? Or turn it off when do we're in I? there or do something? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's as far as you, as she is aware, it is all in house. They're like they do so have no... an off backup. Um, there is obviously connection to the outside world through it, but she believes everything that they have is internal in house security. So what does that mean? That makes me like it's not off the shelf. It's not off the shelf, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Bespoke. Yeah, Bespoke servers security. will be most likely inside somewhere. Okay. We don't see the one on the map, do we? You don't. She recommends having a look in the office for a terminal. Um, she doesn't quite know where the actual servers are. She seems to think that they are kept down in the basement, but she's not oh. 100% sure. So is the stone called the Merkmeyer stone? Yes. Okay, so that's what that is, All right. Um, is in house. Uh, all right, fancy. Yep, I can hear you typing away. So, yeah. Sorry, I don't have a brain that holds things, so I need to write it down. Fair um, enough, I don't mind. Uh, does, it, does it make you feel cool that I'm writing down your words because um, I think that would make me feel cool if someone took notes on the words I said. Uh, I can't type that fast. Always taking vigilant notes. It's handy because I often steal her notes to work out where we're at. Who's that? Uh, one of our players in our in-person game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Our, our DM occasionally checks my notes as well because they're on one note and he just kind of invites himself and has a little scroll. Oh, I will... She, um. Yep. Sorry. I was going to say, she takes them as in pen and paper. She oh, has yeah. a I'm not fast I, I, I read in three sessions, I filled up an entire notebook, so I didn't have enough, um, I don't have enough paper to do that. Oh, no, that's scary. One note works. <laughs> One note works better, yeah. <laughs> See, I just make it up as I go along. This is fascinating, making notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, that, that, that sounds like a person who has a memory that functions, so <laughs> try not to be too jealous. <laughs> so right, yes, babe. What were you going to yes. say? I was going to say to the doctor, um, <clears throat> I will say that I am actually quite impressed with the thoroughness of your sketch, but if I may give you a small point for future reference, when commissioning some sort of... Uh, Otherwise, uh, shall we say, not entirely legal nefarious. break in or, yes, nefarious is an excellent word. Uh, activity at your own workplace. I would recommend not supplying the uh, plans to your contractors with your personal stationery. It was all <laughs> I could get before they escorted me out of the building and kind of oh. revoked my. Employment. I'm jealous. I want personal day stationery. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it is remarkable, but it, it does make things uh, slightly more traceable. I'd say, and I was going to uh, peel, uh, you know, cut, cut away the ends with the <laughs> department yeah. and name on it and I screw really them up. I really didn't have much choice. I kept telling them what was going to happen. They just laughed at me. Um, mm. I then went in to try and, you know, take the stone myself. And that's when security caught me, and I was kind of fired on the spot. I had just enough time to quickly grab the pen and paper. Um, I don't like all my stuff is still in my office. It's just I got oh ushered out, and the first thing I'd done is contact your employer. Is your is office that on the map? The job? Uh, office is not on the map. There oh. is an office on the map, but her office is not quite on the map. Okay. So, so that's the first floor. Oh, so she must be either. So she must be beyond the second floor then. Yep. 
um, creatures of the past. Oh, so that, so each section is basically just like, I guess I would kind of know that anyway. Because it's... Yeah, basically, if you can imagine the officers, there's one set more officers after that. But um, she didn't. Hidden like closets? That. What's a hidden closet? A uh, closet that's hidden. Wow. No, Paul. <laughs> Not what I meant. <laughs> um, nooks and crannies that can get you places, let you hide, right. let you get access to other things, that sort of stuff. Right. So she yeah, says, so... Um, I must take my leave. I've got to prep the status um, box for this egg. Um, yeah, if you guys wanted to basically go into the gala and you can... Whoa pretty much plan you know get in see what you can see see how easy you might even be able to steal it at the gala mm. i i doubt it because there's quite a lot of people but mm. you never know uh so, um so is this uh gemstone being held in this spot right now yes or... all right so and is this wait what i know is this is the second floor open to the public? It is. All right. And um, I can't remember. I didn't write it down. Uh, when was the day of the gala? Uh, in about an hour. Oh, it's literally in an hour. Okay. Yes. Is there anything um, you can wait, put no, on one of these it? computers? Rosalind? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Rosalind, is there anything you could put on one of these computers? If we got near one, you could put on, then later on we could jump on the system. I'm just trying to think of a way of hacking in there. As you're a hacker, we could use your powers to get in there and nosy My around. My powers. Oh. powers. <laughs> well, that's good because you obviously you you have a good uh, grasp on the rules of the game. I'm obviously just flying by the seat of my pants. I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. Just saying, just yes, I'm blowing a smoke up my butt. It's this. This is more um, like more like real life. This is what this is how you play it. Yeah. So you treat it like a yeah, heist. but I'm not it's a like hacker a real in life, real life. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's a whole different. That's a, that sounds like a uh, yeah. psychiatrist yeah. conversation, maybe. It's like, huh. <laughs> all right. right. So, three rules with the gala. Um, as you go there, there. Well, basically, you have to dress nice. So, hmm. nice fancy clothing. Um, yep. You are not allowed weapons on site at all. They do have a metal detector to uh, before letting you in. And they say no cameras. They've had issues with vloggers and influencers basically live streaming and with the oh. gala. Um, as this is going, to, like you guys are at the inaugural gala and then it's going to open up to the public the following day. They don't want some vlogger to be able to... To so like spoil the surprise, right? Exactly. So and in that regards guards will be on alert if you were to pull out your phone and do stuff someone will be so, paying attention so what i'm thinking is on a key ring yep. you have like a usb stick that you can look like a normal key ring that you can kind of pull out and plug into one of the pcs like on like on iron man exactly 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 yes and that there's a bunch thing, of offices the iron man thing. yeah yeah that's right that's exactly right yeah. so there's a bunch of offices there if you can sneak into one of those offices plug it into usb and get out quick and then later on we can jump onto the system and have a nosy around Yes, I agree. We're clearly not going to be lifting the stone during the gala. No, but we'll excite ambitious. it and look at it. But it'll be good to work yes. out what the security guards are doing or confuse the security guards so they're not actually be able to see us when we break in. They'll do something like that. Yes. And see if we can't like figure out a uh, schedule of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. yep. Seeing how they operate, maybe um, timetables. Or even just mess with them a bit so they can kind of you know get distracted elsewhere and then we can go in somewhere else. Mm. See if cool. there's any uh, particularly exploitable, um, what were they called? Uh, you know, Vulnerabilities areas of interest. and doohickeys. Yeah, mm, doohickeys. Like and all that. <laughs> so you guys are let in. Um, you can see a very stern woman standing. She has like a big assault rifle on her back. Looks like <gasps> she's there meaning business. Um, she is right at the front gate. You actually recognize her, Lee. Mm-hmm. This is Miriam. Do I um, do I know her or just recognise her? Yes. Do I actually no, know her? So would I introduce myself? Or? Uh, yeah. Remember last session, you were trying to get her not kicked off the police force because and, yeah, you defended her basically. Mm -hmm. And yes. 
essentially. What does it say? What did I say here? Framed by criminal organization as, as she claimed, and then basically you backed her up. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you walk into the main entrance. You can see a secretary um, letting people in and checking. You can see a security guard next to her just double-checking all the IDs of everyone. You see two statues standing either side of the entrance um, table, the reception table. You can see a couple of people milling around out the back. The stairs up to the second level at the back. Um, you can see two shop assistants selling knickknacks and that sort of stuff. Um, you do recognize, you can see this person over here, at the same person who you saw at the pub, who was getting hit on by the uh -huh. publican. Funny. Publican. Yep. Uh, for some strange, well, coincidence, you can see that the security guard has taken a great interest in her again. And <laughs> really not happy about it. Mm. Well, this is strange. Poor girl. Yes. Poor so girl. on your right, you can see locked doors to the offices, and on your left, you can see the other displays that were mentioned previously. All right. So, I, what would you I, like to do? Um, we should just mingle, shouldn't we? Well, perhaps we should do because normally you would purchase a ticket or whatever. Like or no, not purchase a ticket. You would show, show your tickets yes. and stuff. Would you show them to your the you know the over here? Or? You would. I think. Oh, it's that yeah. guy there, right. isn't it? It's this guy here. It's, oh, yeah. he's just ran off. He's just running away. Where yep. are you going? Okay. Come back. He has finished. No, 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 he has finished signing in. <laughs> okay. He's actually a patron, and he is going up to talk to this chick up here. What is everyone's, with this Everyone's check? on the pool, aren't they? What's going on? So, Does she look uncomfortable from where we are? She looks more annoyed, and as he walks over and starts chatting, she just sighs and walks over this way. Out it's a Mary Sue! Who's <laughs> <laughs> chasing her? What's he doing? <laughs> These two just start talking. The two guys, shop assistant and whatever. So right. uh, you heading up to show your pass there? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, show them to the lady there. Yep. Um, she. I oh, assume little... the other guys are guys, they're right? Yep. That's a... yep. Yeah. Um, the worker, you actually recognise her. She posts quite a bit of stuff. She sort of maintains mm. the um, social web part of the museum. Nice. Um, mm. We can call her Bobette. Bobette. Oh, goodness me. She sees your thing and she doesn't even really sign it off. She just pushes a few buttons on her keyboard and says, yeah, it's okay. What is your name? Rosalyn. Yeah, it's okay, Rosalyn. You can just head on in. The gala, um, you know, there's tea and drinks up at the cafeteria and the actual speeches for the um, stone will be in about 10, 15 minutes. But someone will probably come and get you a you know, when it's time. That would be lovely. Cool. Thank you. Lovely. So what are you doing are you making there? making fun of me? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I'll do the same. I'll show my card. Oh, I can't stand there. I can't stand there. I'll do the same. Flash my uh, ticket. Hopefully you give me my... Did you give me my ticket, Rosalind? Oh, okay. Here it is. Yep. I, I just assumed I would have shown the tickets for all three of us. All, all yeah, the same she, yep, uh, Bobby, basically, yep, yep, you three can go on. Who's who's the fourth character here? Is that Doctor? That's that is the, that's your the connection. Guard. Yeah. That's yeah, your okay. connection. Right. And that's her, and then that's the, the another bodyguard there, but that's the girl yep. that you know. Um, so, who do you want to talk to first? <laughs> Honestly, the girl that's running away, but that doesn't seem relevant i don't think my character would actually think it was relevant uh i'm just um, more very curious as to how she happens to yeah, be there, but I end here exactly um is this another sorry can i just confirm oh yeah that's a worker is that just like an how do they so can uh, you explain how these desks uh like okay they the are basically the little desks are? Kiosks. Oh, so I understand. One is okay. reception, and this one over here is basically selling yep. general knickknacks for nice. uh, the museum. This one on the left here is showing uh, is selling 
stuff more catered to the current right. gala. So, right. Yeah. Um, can we? Yep. Can we? Um, my character wants to go up to this here and yep. actually see if there's any, I guess, uh, anything interesting that they're offering that's actually going to illuminate the situation. Just like about. I don't know, just like information on the, what is it called again? The Merck Myers. Um, so they have some pamphlets that they're given away for free. Pamphlets yeah. that are relating to the uh, current dig site. Um, nice. They show all this real high end mechanical type technology that awesome. um, they have managed to recover. They have different write-ups from different scientists postulating, you know, what the society was, how old it is, all that sort of stuff. And they have little things like little polished, um, probably about two centimeter cubed um, things of gemstones or a different oh. metal, that sort of stuff that you can buy for a little bit of money. Is the is the gemstone supposedly the? Is it actually part? Is it like? a smaller one of the big crystal or is it just random gemstones random gemstones okay a lot of them yeah, she's are got no interest in it. color but um there are different oh. variety colors as well Roslyn is not interested in that <laughs> cool um well, well, not part of the job yep lee what are you doing i was having a mooch around really just trying to get a lay of the area. Walking back I walked in here. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is actually yeah. in there then? <clears throat> uh, these here are ancient plants that they have found from the display. Uh, for, not from the display. These are the display. Um, from the underground society that they uncovered. They're all plants that can thrive underground as well as plants that can thrive um, on the surface. And some of them seem to be biolucent. Bio what is that? Bioluminescent. 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 Yep. Yes. No um, small I'll, mouthful. No. I would like you to do a perception searching um, test for me there, Lee. My perception is so bad. <clears throat> yep. Got four stump no, points, yeah. though. Yep. Hell yeah. It helps a few pass. Yep. No, I can, I'm, my uh, perception zero. It's not great. I actually think you're getting a bit of hay fever there, and as you're trying to around, <laughs> Brett, what are you doing? Um, well, these socialites over here are much easier on the eyes than those ones over there. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm just going to also nosy around. Uh, I do want to try and uh, wander around. I guess I'm mostly trying to obviously... I mean, compare the map we've received with security cameras actually are. Oh, yeah. um, I'll probably use my little pamphlet to sketch again so it looks like I'm taking notes on exhibits or something like that. Paul, could you bring up the map again, please? Because I closed uh, it. I certainly can. Yep, just give me half a sec to bring it up and show the player. Go. Cheers. Okay, because I'll just pop it out. I might just put it on the screen for... Yep. Well, easy access. So you are uh, looking over here. You see the one in purple closest to you there, Brett. Uh, yep. She appears to be about a 16-year-old. The um, Never mind. No, the other one, <laughs> they look the same, so you can assume mother and daughter. She appears to be in her mid-40s. Um, the daughter is prattling on about whatever, and the mother is just leaning against the wall. She's like, yes, darling. Yes. <laughs> Hello, you're very smart, darling. And um, she's like, I, I'm going to go and um, just have a look at these ones. Why don't you tell me about this as you walk in? I'd like you to make a perception seeing test as well. Perception seeing, right here. Uh, let's see. I Do I have just regular old perception it is? Okay. I do not perceive that very is, well. You are slightly worse than <laughs> Wow, that's quite impressive, actually, to be worse than me. Yeah. That's special. Yeah. Quiet. So, <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. And starts talking down here. Um, yeah, you guys have seen nothing. Nice. Um, um, wow. I mean, I will tell you that there is, under these um, here, you can see a terminal. Looks like a security alarm system that's very easy they're not trying to hide it at all right well i'll just have a um 
Yes, I'll just use my uh, little brochure to, dis to uh, disguise things and cool. just make notes of where I see cameras and stuff like that. Okay, pretty much in the corner of everyone, uh, most likely in the northeast um, corner you. of every room you see a camera. Cool. Um, I'm going to go to the guys. Yep. And just say to them, um, wherever they are, over here. Hi. Be like, um, do you think <laughs> Hi, that guys. we should go upstairs and have a look to see? What's around this corner? Uh, I want to know what's around this corner. Go for it. All have right, have fun. I'm a bit right. scared. I'm going to find the, try and find the toilet. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, toilets are upstairs. This corner. Oh, the sort of oh, It's a sketch you just loop around to ancient cultures. Yeah, I thought that's. No, uh, we need to. Well, we need to get to the other side of the uh, entrance to the offices. Ideally, we just have to figure out how to get inside one. Can we actually just <gasps> Ooh. like? And what's happened? I don't know. I found some weird globy things. <laughs> globy things. <laughs> that's not what they are. <laughs> this is so meta. <laughs> oh right i see um can we can our characters take a stroll this way yep i'm strolling with you stroll with me <laughs> i'm strolling, stroll. I'm strolling. Um, look at me strolling i'm strolling um see me strolling and we're going to look at this thing yep. but out of the corner of her eye, she's gonna see if, um, because I don't know if my ca character has any kind of uh, uh, knowledge about breaking into stuff. Um, but if she did, like, because well, I you go, would be looking for but, ha for hacking spots, wouldn't you? You'd be looking for computers that might be vulnerable oh, to being hacked and stuff like that. Surely, roll a perception seeing for these statues. Um, perception. That's just got a USB port. <laughs> You're not Ooh. too far off. They don't have a USB port, but you do see at the base of them, there is a panel. Um, yeah. And with that panel, you can see um, a bunch of cables and lights coming from within the base of it. Um, looking up to it, where the neck is, that actually... It's, very hard to tell from a distance but as you peer closer to it you actually see that the head is detachable and you can see a faint flickering of lights coming from within the separation point okay so what would she assume that this is like part of the security system or something or like would it does she think that it would because i know that on the map it says hidden hidden closets or whatever does she think that it would move to like allow them to the basement since there was no um, ent obvious entrance so to you basement would here. say more something along the lines of the heads are something the heads could be anything from hidden cameras in there yep. to something else you don't quite know that would require okay. further check. can i further check well as you do the security guard comes walking over. He's taken a great interest. Uh, you <coughs> be staring at the back of the um, statue. It's like, uh, are you everything all right there, ma'am? Yes, of course. I was just really fascinated that this statue seems to glow from the inside. It's quite marvellous, isn't it? Okay, what I'm going to do here is roll on the guard's table to see what <laughs> guard it is. Okay, did that pop up for you? Billy Qu Quartermile? Uh, Harry Donovan. No, Harry Donovan. keep below that, below that. Oh, yeah. secure, oh right, Billy Quartermile. Yeah. He loves policies oh, and procedures. Billy, <laughs> yep, he is Lovely. to policies and procedures and this sort of one, so I'm going to rename him to Billy. Um, update token and... Cute, actually. So That's just, really just cool. a question here, uh, Paul. So as yes. my guy's really into current affairs and general chit-chat being a politician, could I just distract this guy by walking over to him and doing general chit-chat to distract him? You can indeed, yes. Okay. So, All right, then. I should do that as he's kind of looking a bit too interested. 
Okay, um, in that case, I'm going to roll a willpower test. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> okay, all you have to do is roll a communications of your choice. And oh, I roll better than a six. Come on, don't miss it. <laughs> a communications I get a plus three. three on my communication, so That's if, what I'm if I do this badly, the then I'm going home. Oh, I tried. I really tried, though. Look at that. Um, you actually get one stunt point. Which one stunt point. Nice. Yeah. So, stunts. Where did I put the player handouts and stunts? And I will show the players. Because it so occurred that... to me, my character should actually be just schmoozing people, shouldn't he? I should be distracting everybody while you lot do all the digging around. Yes. And that is correct. So, um, general social stunts. <clears throat> you may use one of those to basically so I've got a plus one. Or You've got plus one, yes. That pretty much leaves only three, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's better than none. True. I get a pose roll against one character who witnessed it. So that's that? so making an entrance. Oh, as long as it's the first action of the encounter? Eh. Well, this is. You've just is, gone yeah. up to encounter him, yes. Okay, so I can do that and then that will just distract him completely, yeah? Is that the theory? Yep, that okay. is the theory. Let's do that. Okay, sweet. So you've made an entrance. Um, basically, as you go over to him, he's sort of talking very sternly and he's like, man, you don't need to ask about that. This isn't, you know, you're here for the gala. This is not part of the gala. Please just head up to the gala. And you go off and you like grab his hand. It's like, hi, I'm Adric. I'm Aldric. 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 Come on. Yes. Eldritch Eldritch Eldritch. <laughs> Come on. You made an entrance. You couldn't pronounce your own name correctly, but you made an entrance. You made an entrance, yes. Um, so you get your plus one onto other tests for that. That is correct, is it? Yeah, plus one to your next oppose roll against this character. I'm going so, to just step back, like, whatever half of it is while yep. that's talking and still see if I can't figure out what the, if I can't figure out what it's. Is there, is there a way for my character to actually figure out what this is, or would they actually need to, um, would she actually need to step closer? The best way I could work it out would be if you had a packet sniffer or some sort of Wi-Fi scanner installed on your tablet or phone, you would be able to... Do I? Something on your key ring? Something on your key ring? My key ring? <laughs> So you run a scanner. There is definitely a network, um, a strong network presence sitting at the two front statues. There doesn't appear to be any network presence sitting at the rear statue. But something electronic as receiving and broadcasting from those two, uh, yeah, the heads of the statues. Okay. I'm going to assume. Can I get that... this guard guy who now who's now noticed me to kind of give me a tour of like his uh, anything he's chuffed with for this computer system or something like that? Oh yeah, um, like talk him up, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Some... Oh, mate, this looks yeah. amazing. Could you tell me more about this? Okay, um, make a persuasion roll, which is just straight communication. As this is happening, I'm going to move uh, to a more less dramatic. What uh, happened there? Okay, but... ten. Five oh, stun points. Oh, you rolled as well, did you? And yes. Um, you basically talk politics to him, like you know, you're here showing uh, off for your constituents, and you know, making a grand political speech, blah blah blah. And he starts nodding. He's like, "Yep, yep, okay. Um, yep, no, this place highly secure. These three here, we've had two of them installed. We're just." You know, tonight we'll be possibly installing the third, but we might wait until after the opening. Hoping to have it, but, you know, the way paperwork works, they couldn't get the third one to run. Bureaucracy. These are the new advanced combat drones that we've installed. They look just like the heads, but, yeah, they, they'll basically take over security for quite a few levels, and people won't even know they're being scanned. It'll scan everything. It'll be able to download your phone. It'll be able to do facial recognition, absolutely everything. They'll be able to pull up. Who makes these? Partner. And that's really interesting. Who makes these? I'm not a positive. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I think it's some sort of European nation. Maybe German design. Could be Swiss design. I don't know off the top of my head, though. 
but he's quite proud of you know the procedure it mm. does he's quite happy with how smooth everything seems to be working apart from the fact that the first one they tried to install doesn't work but the other two are operational and with that you can actually see the combat drones as the heads nice okay awesome so that's one security thing you're going to have to work on and so where's the control station for these uh, zone drones are they close by is it is it all just remote um they're remote, but we generally have the control station in the office. It's, um, I think, the yeah, the head curator's office. She has a terminal to it. Uh, we all have our own little pads on our wrists that we can control it from. Oh, that's cool. Let's have a look. Then. Can I see that? That's very cool. He shows off the pad. Um, he puts, and he's very particular about putting in his password so you can't actually see it. But as soon as he does that, he shows. Could my character see it? from a different the vantage that she's at not from that point he is very no, he's right. showing off to a politician all of the rules and regulations and that sort of stuff <laughs> but he's very particular about showing uh, letting other people see it but it's sort mm. of a holographic projection and he signs into one of the cameras and you can see this camera down here you can see quite clearly miriam is that her name yep miriam um, it pops up Miriam, it pops up with her threat level, it pops up with um, who she is, absolutely everything like that. It's You've got more detailed information about her there than you've ever seen in any other computer terminal. And it's all just Please. bing, 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 brings up with the holographic um, wrist computer. That's, that's really cool, isn't it? Very cool. You must be really pleased with yourself with this, or this system. Oh, the security system is state of the art. It is an absolute joy to work with, and yet yeah, nothing can go wrong. I feel this place is so secure. <laughs> cool, inspiring confidence. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. We love it. <laughs> After that, he's like, "Well, it's good to see you, sir. It's really good to have you here. I certainly hope you give us some good press, and you know, thank you. It was taxpayer dollars paid for this, so." It's a pleasure to show off what our taxpayer dollars can No, I really accomplish. appreciate it. Thank you. And he sort of shakes your hand, and he is doing nothing because I haven't clicked on There he is. He is walking back to his guard post just beneath the stairs. So, Brett, what were you doing? <laughs> you seem very quiet. Yes, because I just can't think of anything useful to do. <laughs> um... Well, obviously, yeah, I don't know. I'm open to ideas. Should we wander upstairs? Uh, well, you can see the three doors on yeah, either we, side. We can't really get into them. They're all locked, aren't they, you see? Well, they are locked, but since we've true, but there's them also the True, but we have uh, security cameras and guards currently active. So let's see. Do I think there's any doors that um, I can potentially... Uh, how how good is the camera coverage in this lobby? Okay, hey, camera coverage, as I said, they're in the north east. So you've got one camera here. I'll see if I can actually draw a measurement. Here we go. So this camera will be... Did that work at all? Yes. Yes. So you yeah. can imagine a camera coverage there. Um, this is the one room that actually has more, being the front lobby. Yep. So you can see camera coverage, the camera seems to be there, and then you've got further camera coverage there and there with those drones. And Some then I'll just do small little camera lockups coming across every other So the, the door I'm next to might be the most likely. It seems to be the one door that is not under a constant surveillance. It is, however, next to a um, worker. Right. Right. Oh, can I use my charms to you, talk to the worker girl and you talk to because I talked to her in the pub yeah I brought her a drink in the pub so is that the one oh, girl. I was not like I was the one that ran away oh, okay it was a strangely magnetic one <laughs> I can go over and start talking to her about buying something definitely wait okay. yeah when when we went for a visit down this end did that strangely magnetic girl was she there yeah, she was. Yeah, she was yeah, yeah, yeah. standing oh. over here next to the socialite. There was a couple of girls in there. Oh, she's not there now. No, well, what I mean oh, is she... she walked down this path here and she yeah. vanished. 
That's why okay, I was going so, to Yep. Okay, so you do your thing. I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to this girl and buy, talk to, ask her about her stuff. Um, what she uh, thinks the best be, best Harry. thing to buy is, or what's, what's really cool. Yes. Well, the worker is... Um, Distracted by right. Eldritch Charms. <laughs> yep. Um, Politicians, mate. <laughs> if you want, I mean, it's a standard door system. Uh, it um, has a little key sort of system on it. It doesn't seem to have any swipe cards. Uh-huh. Rightio. Well, how surreptitiously can I poke at this lock? You can. Make for me a lockpicking test, which is dexterity. Oh, word. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just swear at the door and kick it? Or something? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, fucking open. I, I break. I break my lock pick, missing the the lock hole entirely. Just as you do that, um, you actually get oh, this no. lady starts walking over to you. She's got <gasps> eyes and she's touching her ear. Oh no! Um, out here. I like to pretend to drop something, like a wallet or what have you, and scuffle around at the base of the door. Did I notice this at any point? Can I do anything to help? Um, you did notice it, yes. She's walking I think everyone noticed, here. probably. <laughs> yes. Uh, can I walk over to... Oh, okay. Can I wander can over to and try and distract her and do something? Like, yep. throw, trip over on her or something, knock her over? Or... <laughs> well, you know her, remember? You have a connection with her. Yeah, okay. So you go up to her. Um, Harry is bending over trying to pick something up. Uh, what do you want to say to her there, Aldrich? Oh, what do you think of this amazing security system? She sort of looks at you and, I know you. Um, 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 you're that Harry's, Harry's, gonna, Harry's just going to pop his head up <laughs> and call over to Aldrich and say, as he's scuffing around the floor with his wallet, he's going to go, uh, how much money did you say you needed? Cool. Um, she's like, Eldrick, yeah, no, um, yeah, just money. What what were you doing over there, sir? What were you doing? Oh, he's a clumsy fool. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, right. guilty as charged. We were at the. What was the name of the bar we were at? Oh, I can't uh, remember. Actually, well, actually, Biddy, what's the bar we weren't at? Um, the Pontiff's Prophet. Okay. Well, we came from the Pontiff's Prophet, and uh, presumably, we should, I, I should have got there earlier to get you away from there. <laughs> yes, uh, Eldritch should have taken me away a little bit earlier, but uh, now uh, now I owe him for the beers, and uh, I was rifling through trying to find money, and I dropped my wallet. It's, it's a little bit hard, I say, teetering slightly. She to... sort of looks at you, and it's like something triggered an alarm. Did you bang your head against the door, sir? Oh, I probably did. Is that what it was, he says, I say, rubbing my forehead. She sort of... <laughs> looks shakes her head she takes a few steps away she turns back to you old and it's like bitch this loser man he's not yeah good. i know <laughs> and then walking back off crack up far out i'm saving she your doesn't... asses all over the place what's going on <laughs> hey, well um... i'm gonna whisper to Aldrich. well turns out the door alarm the Door locks are alarmed, despite being yeah. Mechanical. Well, good, good work. Yeah, it's good to know that. <laughs> <laughs> good work. Yeah, he rolls his eyes slightly. Glad you. Uh. <laughs> As this is all going on, uh, what were you doing there, Ruth? I wanted to go upstairs, but I'm sort of just loitering until um. Tweedledee, I enjoy. Tweedledee, stop messing around. Well, a famous. <laughs> face that you quite easily recognize i don't know if the others do but in the circles that you walk around um Ooh, she's yep. posh uh, it's elder akron oh arkin elder akron bobette we'll call her bobette again um she walks down she is actually the curator of the museum and she says uh everybody can i have your attention it will be five minutes and then we shall open this gala with a speech up in the gym room so if everybody could finish your um yeah finish up what you were doing and come along and with that you actually start seeing a lot of people come walking around and walking up the stairs so everybody is going to do that let's do that okay um, I'm going to do control C on that lot. I'm then going to 
view this scene. I don't know if I've put you guys in this scene, but I will in half a sec. Ta-da. Seems fast. Uh, let's see. Pasted the five tokens in, and then where are you three? Rando's session thing. We've got Aldric, Harry, and Rosalind. There we go. So you see all the people happily walking around um, there are a bunch of them looking at this big giant contraption down here it seems to be a digging device um, the mother and daughter are heading uh, off one second way, so, you know, so is this we're on the bottom floor still? yeah is the map's changed because it hasn't changed for me oh here we go it hasn't changed for you just changed i apologize it just changed I just clicked on the screen and then it changed. Yeah, no, right, no, no. Okay. I had viewed the scene. I hadn't activated. There's two buttons All for right. you to control. That way I can load things in without you guys seeing it. Fair enough. That's good. Has that girl, is that girl that keeps being the magnetic girl here? No, she is not. <laughs> um, Ooh, you do hear a toilet flushing seen. and some guy comes walking out and <laughs> he? walks around. He looks amazing. <laughs> He comes over and starts talking, and you've basically got a lot of people talking about this giant contraption here. Um, you know the tea rooms are over here, where the mother and daughter walked, and there is really only one path. You've got toilets along this wall here, and you have to go through the team rooms and through the other displays to get to the actual room. Uh, are we able to still inspect... Um... The same area, like, for security in that? You are indeed, yes. I'd like to do that. Or at least okay. if Brett's character is specifically not doing that, I will do that. <laughs> presume you can presume I did that in every room. Yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. I'll leave that to your character. Well, here you can see two security guards up at the top of the stairs. Um, I will walk around and say what you're looking at, Brett, and I'll tell you if you need to make a roll or not. Okay. I can't. Oh, is this like a confirm? Oh, no. I can't move. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you're. Sorry, I was clicking. So you're looking around here? Yeah. Looks like it is made, uh, some sort of digging contraption that has technology you've never seen before in it. Um, you won't be able to move there. There you go. Um, yeah, that could be uh, a dramatic escape tool. It looks like the cabin is made for people of about four foot or shorter. Uh huh. Not so well, very dramatic in that case. Yeah, um, the three of you will not fit in. I see there are doors over here, which I will not. There not are, in fact, you can quite clearly tell there are doors there. However, are as they alarmed? Try open, try open they, <laughs> well, as soon as you try and do it. Um, walk to it. The security guard comes over to you and says, uh, sorry, sir, for the flow, and he does that in brackets. Um, you're going to have to walk around and through the exhibit. They want people to do that to see the joys of the exhibit. So this door is temporarily locked. And let's see who he is, shall we? Yes, he look at these is... dramatic altered carbon mm -hmm. uh, extras. Well, wow, he's got a name, isn't he? Over. No, 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 what the heck? A name. I actually love that. Very <laughs> serious. I love pun. it. Oh my god. That is a, that's a heck of a name, name badge, too. Stocking. Holy <laughs> cheese and crackers. That is the best. Okay. Do you know any, do you know any oh, door lock pun, puns you can make? You might impress him. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Say it. <I'm> no. <laughs> I should not. Come on, life punning. That name is, uh, is amazing. <laughs> These all came straight out of the book. I couldn't come up with something that ridiculous. I assume he spends his nights moonlighting around uh, exchanging people's uh, firstborn children for... <laughs> it does sound that way. Uh, I don't uh, actually know. I mean, he's obviously human here because there are no other races, but museum guards, let's see. He is a lawful good gnome. That's why. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Um, so it, you guys are heading over. Where are you there? Brett? I decided okay, to go and get myself are... a drink, actually. Yep. 
So you can see the mother and daughter sitting there having a drink. You can see some poncy lady dressed up um, in what almost looks like a military regala um, sitting there having a drink. And another lady up in the top corner, they're all just sitting on the couches having a variety of um, gourmet teas. Um, none of them seem to be drinking alcohol, but it looks like there are some kind of meads, weird flavoured meads available that apparently came from this underground city they were excavating. Oh, like ancient wheats and stuff like that, whatever. Yeah. Yes. Ancient barleys and stuff. Yep. Are we allowed to sample? You, uh, well, it will cost you money to buy one. You have enough oh, money. Do I to have buy money? Them. Yeah, you do. Okay, uh, this sort of stuff won't really require much of a test. Um, however, if you drink it, I do want you to make a constitution tolerance test. Okay. I, oh, well, I'm going to try it. Not just going to sip it. You oh, but know, you've got but... uh, you've got the skill of drinking, though, haven't you? Do I? She no. She has one constitution. Oh, I thought uh, you got the skill of drinking. Wasn't that the one of the things you picked up? Is that yeah? free? No, oh, nobody no, has no. drinking. Oh, it must have been one of the options you had. Yeah. Like party was animal that... or something, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I mean, let's it. see. Talent. Party animal, yes. Um, you do, actually. You get a plus one to constitution oh. tolerance tests. Excellent. So can I just... Uh, I'm just going to go bloop. Cool. Oh, oh not oh, out of the park. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're no, able to just drink, drink all day long. And gulled a whole lot back and you're like mm, tastes a bit fruity <laughs> can we say for um dignity purposes that she doesn't sc skull it <laughs> <laughs> right. you drink it and your pinky finger very ladylike yes. right angle thank you the... just something a little bit more dignified fitting the you know fitting the accent you know cool okay so you are next to the bar doing that uh nobody is using the piano You've got the three ladies talking away. And yeah, not much is happening. You do hear over the loudspeakers a sort of ding dong. The uh, opening speeches will begin in two minutes. All right. We're going to move to... Wait, where will they have the opening speeches? In the main room or...? Nope, in the gym oh. room. All right, let's get move the boots to the gym room. Cool. So you guys just walk over to the gym room. Yeah, I think so. I well, can we, while south. we're going, are we still able to look around us just to, you know? You can indeed, yes. I would like to look around. Last dragon skull. As I go. Yep. So these dragon skulls were large <laughs> creatures found around oh, um, well. the dig site. Okay, well, that's terrifying. All right. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, that's terrifying. Um, when you get to there, Brett, I want you to do a perception test. Let's see if I can roll any better than last time. Well, 112 was low, so if you get lower, that's um, all over. Really. An achievement, I guess. It is an achievement, it's something. Oh, you tried. Hey. Yeah, no, you're fine. Can I have a go? Because I feel like I you can. Yes. Although my perception is just as bad as. Yep. <laughs> Am I also going to see? Can I also. 123. Do you not get it for like having run, running kind of dice? <laughs> oh, yeah, is my character still allowed to perceive as well? Or... Out of mine. <laughs> um, yeah, you can. Where's your following them? You can have a look. Please do. Uh, oh. Well, that's not better. Um, you can good. see a swipe and two stat points hidden Ooh, in this corner here. <gasps> get it. Quick. Wait, it says point to the corner again. I would like a, a swipe card just sitting there. No, 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 a swipe card interface. A, uh, All right, I see. Yes. Oh, can you plug one of your key ring USB ploppings into it? Yeah. Um, by jimmying it open, yes, there is a USB port on the uh, control board. I might just go and awesome. stand. I might just go and stand the other side of you. Oh, I can't get my yep. guy. Yeah, I want you to roll a dexterity security test there. Oh, you've got sabotage. I've got sabotage. Can I do a sabotage one? Um. Because it's a computer thing. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh well, that was crap anyway. Uh, I think I clicked that button. I was meant to right oh. click. And if oh. I go, yeah, what does it say? <coughs> it is mechanical. So it is mechanical. Oh, yeah. Not electronic. No, this is electronic. So you are good yeah. at mechanical locks. You are not good at electronic. Oh, okay. So just dexterity straight. Just in. plain dexterity. 
Um, and am I allowed to apply the start points from my earlier observation thing, my perception yes. thing? Yes, you are. Um, I do, I'm sure I have this up somewhere. We kept it up, generating stuff from here it is. Um, oh, is that from the correct thing? Excuse me, just one moment while I try to remember. Exploration, right? Ah, uh, that is exploration, correct. Excellent, I know how things work. Watch me go. Look at you go. <laughs> oh, I know, it's so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go. Um... Uh, so pay do so I have work. two I have two stunt points right correct uh, I'm confused what's the difference between general infiltration it's sorry infiltration and investigation stunts okay general stunts can be used in any exploration scenario infiltration stunts are where you are trying to break into something and well, if it's breaking stunts, into it in the future, Florida. does that count <laughs> as um, an infiltration? I would actually say investigation at the investigation. moment. Investigation. Okay, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. You're trying to investigate what is happening. Well, not so much what is happening, but you're investigating how to get in. So. Okay. Uh... Okay, well, it looks like intuition seems good the gm yeah. reveals a fact about the object of your test you could not have noticed or deduced simply by interacting with it when you uncover a clue you gain two new leads instead of one making yeah. a making the path branched oh nice okay cool so I'll like spend it on that uh with that you are able to determine obviously it is a swipe card system mm -hmm. the um guards have it one of the key things is only the guards and the curator will have this sort of code on it it has a little code number on there and you know that staff don't have access to that particular swipe card so it is high level access only um, the second path of information is um, this here remember when the doctor said she thinks they're they're in the basement but there could be other things around yep yep uh with the information that you got off the other security guard with installing mm -hmm. the security and stuff like that you can determine that this could be one of the security nooks that will have a computer interface or a, a basically a little mini data center to be able to access security okay so in theory i would be able to hack this thing you can use your key to do a key logger, essentially make a duplicate of the card for later on, or Excellent. you can try and oh, hack it oh. now and break in. What would you prefer? Um, possibly, can, can she ask since, oh, wait, can oh, we sorry. say that, um, I thought you were near me, are you actually that far away? I was just kind um, of watching, because if someone walks around the corner, I was going to distract them. Okay. Um, well, if, saying that, there are people I, starting to walk around. You can. Okay, hear. she's just gonna get just it over, for just, later. Yeah, yeah, get it for okay. later. Yeah, yeah. And do it for later so because I think you're able to easily plug your USB device in and then clip it all on, just as you can see the first of the uh, patrons. <coughs> <start. coughs> so it's basically making a duplicate card, right? Um, it's get a carter so you can get a duplicate card for later, should you want. I'll talk to this first yeah. girl saying, isn't that amazing, that thing there? She's like, oh, this is horrifying. Imagine a creature this big. Imagine the rest of the I body. Wonder... Yeah. Look at the size uh, of its <laughs> teeth. <laughs> I, I am so glad they are extinct. I well, hopefully so they are. I hope we don't find them. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, who knows? Maybe some dark future they'll just pop back up and yeah then what will we do fancy cloning someone like this that'd be fun wouldn't it have one of these as a pet oh no i don't want to do that <laughs> okay um so all of these people are walking <clears throat> through let's see okay I... hope that was enough time for you to do your yep it is stuff. enough time so they walk through they have a little bit of a talk about everything but they are all effectively walking through to the room. 
Rosalind, unlike myself in this situation, is like not even sweating. She's like, hell yeah, I live off this stuff. This is what I was built to do. I was born yeah, to do this. Like, I'm totally to, stark. I was going to pretend to head back doors. Yeah, it's quite a special skill. Years of practice. <laughs> What's this room? What the hell's in here? Or is it just bits of rock? These are different <laughs> gems that you can see. So they've got a massive size hammer. Um, yeah, just a huge air hammer with these glowing sigils all around it and tiny fragments of different gems. Uh, while the ones down for sale seem to be cut and polished and a perfect square, these ones tend to look like they've just been dug straight out of the ground. All right, are we going in? Oh, We're going in. Yep. A door door. Yeah. Well, well, Whoa. Lee, hold on. Whoa, hold people. on. Whoa. Sorry. Hold on. You're supposed to say then. Because otherwise what's the point, you know? Sorry, what oh, you are you cut out then? Uh not a security you make another perception test if you want as you walk down that roll. Uh, Perceive roll. in theory. Our roll's been really good tonight, so oh look, look at that. Roll. That's a roll. You can see another hidden security oh, um, get all of terminal. It. <clears throat> down here and you can see another what looks like a door the door ah uh, so i can see a door here well you're saying oh yeah you look can you can actually kind of see it vaguely see it there you can kind of see the little lock mechanism. you might have to move your woman back um, however you only My have woman. USBs, yep. um, <laughs> usb sticks and it's currently in another panel i'll just stand next to the door because okay. i can tell stuff's happening i'm like oh god um just be quick. so okay so I only had one of the little USB things. Um, does it do? do can, since I got, is there? Okay, hold on. Harry, can you use your head to open the door? Never gonna love this. Yeah. Um. So, since I got five stunt points from that. Yep. Am I allowed to use the investigation stunt breakthrough to yes. determine whether or not, um, I don't know if this is actually how this works, sorry, but whether or not the keypad that the USB is stuck in is actually different from this one? Like, would it give me different information or is it the same thing? Basically, uh, like, would the key card for that thing work for this thing? Okay, the key card would, yes. It right. would work. Okay, so she's not really that bothered. Then she'll just, she'll just be. We'll get that later. Uh, we'll get that. We'll go go there later. Um, as well, hold on. You gain not only information but some form of incontrovertible proof. Reduce the total number of leads on the path by one, jumping to a further point. I've got no exactly what that means, but I'm gonna pretend like that's how you apply that. And um, Paul allowed it, so okay. <laughs> um, don't read the path that you are looking for. <coughs> how to get into the museum at night once yeah. it's down. And the leads you have, if you have a look at that map that I showed you, which I'll bring it yeah. back up yeah. for you. So the leads you have is somewhere there is a basement and somewhere there is an attic. And you can yeah. actually see two attic written on the map. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um... Hold on, let's move this. Next to the privies. Yeah, right at the top, right. Yeah. Okay. Um... Can you edit? Yeah. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so you hear a door unlocking and opening up. And with that, uh, just let me jump to a another map because I need to copy and paste some one from there but you guys can stay on that map and move around you do where did she go there she is and i jump back into this map i do like being able to jump into multiple maps okay yep. you mm -hmm. can see the security uh, the head of security come walking in through these doors that were previously locked it is literally just a passageway to there however she turns around and shuts the door as she walks through uh, once again, you can see she's not using a security card or anything like that. In fact, she doesn't even lock, seem to lock it. But is that from her bracelet? Do we think? Do we think her bracelet? No, no, no. We can see a keyhole on this. Okay. The system, 
the system is updated with quite modern technology, but there's a few doors that are still just key locked. Okay. Okay, as you walk in, you can see a whole heap of socialites in fancy dress all gathering around and looking. You can see the marvel of this giant stone there. I'll actually pull these people away. Um, does it not look like there is any particular thing unique about this other than it's big? It is a lot bigger than every other stone. Um, but make a perception seeing test for me. <laughs> How low can All you of go? Us? Everybody. Cool. Oh, it's not like below 10 for once. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not below 10. <laughs> sweet. You are, while looking at it, it's very indecipherable, but you can see a faint purple pulse emanating from the bottom that seems to radiate in little lightning bolts all the way around it. But it is so dim that most people don't even know it's there um the good doctor gave you some information on it and you see the pulse and then roughly two minutes later you see the same pulse and she said that it is starting to get quicker and quicker the next time you see it you time it it is one minute and 59 seconds so it does seem to be gradually getting quicker and you can determine and well you've only seen it for about two minutes so that's really not enough time to determine but um yeah they're getting closer. are we allowed to keep timing it you can but this seems probably only going to last for about five minutes okay so basically dr alda she starts off with this nice speech she's talking about you know how great it is that all of these people here you know, they are patrons of knowledge and patrons of um, history and all that sort of stuff. And everybody gives themselves a good pat on the back. You can see the two security guards are looking really bored. And, ah. yep. Um, she tells you about how, you know, unlocking all these ancient treasures gives you a good deep insight as to what once happened. And she's just talking about all this sort of stuff and everybody yeah, it's the basic sort of speeches you can imagine where everybody just self-congratulates themselves. Aren't we amazing? Yeah. Can we Anybody can we agree? say that um um that Roslyn is trying not to look uncomfortable about the situation? Um, I don't know how successful she is, but she is trying not to look uncomfortable. Okay, make a communication test for me. Oh, only a zero. Yeah, no, you're fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so the speech lasts for a few minutes and then she raises up her thing and says tomorrow we will open the doors and hopefully we will open everybody's minds let's have a toast to the future of the past and everybody raises their cups and hear here and has a good drink and then starts talking and Elder um, is walking around greeting she first goes along and why can I not take control of her there we go Okay, she goes and talks to these people and then comes around and talks to this lady. She then turns to you as you are the closest there, Aldrich. And she says, oh, thank you. I, I think I've seen you before. I haven't seen you in the um, the museum, but I know I've seen you before. Who are you? Oh, I'm Aldrich. Uh, I'm a politician. So I'm just uh, here on some be business. What I've seen. Um, yeah, well, thank you so much for all of this. You know, our... our work uh, government assisted grants really have made this a marvel of both technology and of history and blah 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 and you know it's good to support local it's good to support local stuff so, oh, it <laughs> definitely is so thank you very much for that and I'll, I'll make sure everybody knows that you came in personally to see it and you know that'll be some good votes for you coming up she then goes to you brett and she's like hello i don't believe i've met you either no, that would be unlikely. I'm just Mr. Julius's personal security. Ah. And, uh, he nods, I nod over at Rosalind, and this is his uh, executive assistant, Ms. Diaz. Like, oh, she says, Rosalind, I, I recognize you. you. You're you part of the forums, and I mean, I've seen you at all our events and stuff. Yeah. Ah. Um, of course. Yeah, no, thank you for making it. It's good to see that our social media influences are getting 
some stuff and she sort of comes up a bit closer to you and she's like um if you wanted to write an article for our forum um i can give you a bit of an insight to some stuff if you anything like. i can do to um further the cause of once the these people have Wonderful finished stuff. you know having a good talk and this sort of stuff meet me meet me say in my office in 10 minutes i've oh. a pamphlet for you that um could mm. help it'll bring you know a lot of good stuff to this particular establishment and it might actually help boost your popularity online as well i mean who doesn't want that everybody mm. we're all secretly narcissists don't tell anyone Slave to oh, yeah. to. <laughs> yep so everybody's still mingling um did you guys want to uh, once people have done that like a handful of people disperse and head out is there sleep. anything anything obviously security around here like cameras and whatever uh there is a camera <coughs> once again in the top corner okay it seems to be a stock standard thing they put a camera at this one is a roving camera so it can pretty much pick up everything in any, this room. <coughs> any uh terminals in here anything interesting pc was or so just purely a rock uh, and some what are they? other than the oh, camera geez. um you <coughs> well make a perception test for me God, it's not been going well. This pool. <laughs> this one is not bad. Not bad. No, you can see the same little <laughs> key code interface hidden amongst that wall there and that wall there. Okay, so that's the same one we saw in the hall, yeah. That is indeed yes. Interesting. Okay. So, anybody else want to observe? Um, am I able to just uh, get Is to it... see the room to see if there's anyone that looks, I guess, more interested in the stone than just like a... Um, or anyone that looks kind of like shady, I guess. So, like, if anyone else is also looking for security stuff or any like... I know that it'll be a hard test or something. <laughs> yep. I'm interested um, to see if any of these people are also doing what we're doing. Do a perception scene test for me. Oops. Um, no, that's not high enough to see much. Sorry. No, no, it's all good. Um, she's gonna just kind of. Uh, is she still talking to this lady? Uh, no, this lady, this lady is now around? walked off. Can I get Rosalind's okay, attention? Gonna... Can I get Rosalind's attention to come as, just so I can point out to her that the. There's key card points over there. She's just gonna enough. go over here anyway, but then and say to you guys just kind of like slyly before you even point anything out. But she's gonna right. say to you guys, um, I there's a lot going on, but can anyone see if you can see anything suspicious? Anyone who looks like they're doing what we're doing? Um, everyone who wants to look can make a perception test. I can't see anyone myself. But 11. Oh, and five right. stun points, though. Five stun points, maybe. <laughs> what? Can you, you use them? Can see, um, <laughs> Elder walks up to Miriam. Miriam opens the door, and Elder walks through it and sort of pushes, pulls the door shut behind her and walks down. Um, the door does not close, and a couple of seconds later, you see the same lady who you've seen twice before sort of look in the shadows, look around, and then quickly vanish. Dodgy. And the door shuts. Very odd. We need to talk to her. Talk to who? Mm. The dodgy lady that keeps appearing everywhere. I didn't see. Where was she? In the corridor between the two doors, between this room and the other room and the outside. All right. It's very strange. She keeps, my, she keeps appearing and then disappearing all the time. It's very strange. Well, you. Maybe I need to go and borrow another drink. <laughs> 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 well, she seems not to like those kind of. Uh, <laughs> no, she doesn't, but at least she might talk to me and we'll find out. No, that is not how it works at all. Perhaps <laughs> you should show some disinterest in that might. Oh, ah, play to hard her. to get. Excellent. Exactly. As it seems that nobody else is. Um, Rosalind, make a 
constitution, drinking tests oh. for me. Uh, I don't have the drinking, I, I can't press the drinking That's thing. right. Um, no, you're good. Okay. Um, do I need to start making my way down to the... Yes. Okay, she's going to go over here and she's just going to um, ask Miriam, not that she knows her name yet, like, um, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> um, would it be possible uh, to take this door out? It's like, look, I saw the curator talking to you. I know she's already given me the information. So, yeah, I just Thank go you. through. And as she goes through, I would really like to just literally, like, a quick eyeball scan, see if there's anything of interest around here. Oh, my gosh, I flew away. Sorry, I didn't mean to fly. <laughs> Why, then? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. That was an accident. I just, my computer moved. Well, uh, make a perception test for me. Okay. Just to see Maybe if do your shoelaces yeah. up as you go through the door or something. No, that seems a bit too short. With 12, you do actually see someone. You see that um, girl mm -hmm. walking around the corner. Oh my gosh, do I have enough time to go around the corner too? Do yeah. I have enough time to do that before yeah. my meeting? Yes, yep. okay, I want to do that. Meeting! So <laughs> you can see when you get up there, this is where the toilets are. Um, All right. There are two that are closed. Okay, well, um, Rosalind debates for a second and her her um wannabe socialite uh what is it socialite um uh, tendencies or something like persona that? yeah like her wannabe yeah. you know she's not but she wants to be, to be. uh forbids her from knocking on a toilet to uh interrogate someone so she just kind you of can use stands the there. hearing or smelling oh yeah <laughs> smelling like, oh my gosh <laughs> yeah to hearing possibly <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, um, you can tell someone is in that toilet. She's just like, I can't knock on this toilet. It's just too weird. Can She's not going to do that. Next to it or something and try and listen to it or... Does she have enough time to pretend toilet and then like... Um, How she... long does pretend toilet take to do? Yeah, as long as does. normal toilet, I guess. <laughs> She's going to pretend toilet. <laughs> Okay, you are sitting there. Um, you can hear the toilet flush, and out walks this lady here. She sort of walks past and looks at you pretending to toilet with the door still open. Well, the and... doors are open. That's not really pretending to toilet, is it? Well, you Awkward toilet. <laughs> Pardon? You didn't close the door. Well, I don't know how to do How do I do that? There's a little tiny door button there. Oh, oh this? <clears throat> yes. Oh, okay. Well, obviously she closed it. You're just not very good at pretending to toilet with that. Okay. Goodness me. Um, That's unfair. Whoever was there is walking, and you can hear her walking down the stairs. Yep. Um, she's going to she's gonna sit there and, like, for just a little bit longer, and then she's going to flush as well and then go to leave. Okay. One flush or two? One, man. Who flushes the toilet twice? Save water. Depends on how much food you've eaten. Dude! How much pretend food did you eat? <laughs> She's going to see if she can see who's walking out. Um, It's too late. You've missed them. Oh, damn. She thinks that she's missed the girl, and she's going to... Um, is there any way to wash their hands? Is there, like, a basin or something? Um. Yeah, there's like little basins inside each one. Oh, inside. Okay. Yeah. She's just going to sit there. She's like, okay, this is just, I'm wasting time here. And then she's going to go to the meeting. Okay. What are the other two doing? Oh, are you happy? Should we get out of here? <clears throat> yeah. I've seen enough. So. Yeah, we're probably just going to leave, wander out, mooch out. Okay. Can we go out this way, please? Head um, of security person? Yes, they let you move out. And you are, let me just move the people to the correct room. Whoop, why can't I select? There we go. I can now select. Something's not right. There we go. So if I activate that. Uh. So um, whoop, you two are down the door. And it looks like that door is open down the bottom here. And... Mm. 
uh, Roslyn, you are talking to Alder at her office. You can see her terminal on her office. It's a nice little holographic one with mm -hmm. like this holographic keyboard. So she That's can type, cool. type. Yes. Um, is there any way that uh, Roslyn can, I guess, does she, oh my gosh, there's a dead um, praying mantis on my desk. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, is there any way that she thinks that this key card's going to help her get in here or access anything in here? Uh, make a perception test as you walk in. <laughs> Three, some points maybe. Um, you can see the lock on this door down here. It is a security card accessed one. Okay. Um, it also has the same color code as the high tech security ones that you have seen previously. Okay. However, I will also let you know that you cannot see a security camera in this room. Nice. Okay. Outside, cool. outside windows. Or um, outside windows. Is she. Uh, no windows, no. No windows, okay. Um, I didn't create an outside, so I didn't put windows in. So you wouldn't see. <laughs> There's no outside, it's like a cave. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, yeah, they don't want the um, the paints to, uh, you know. Oh, and the natural sunlight fugitive. to destroy stuff. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's good for a museum. Um, so, Alda gives you a nice <clears throat> booklet. Um, she prints it out, and she's got this nice little printer built into her desk. So it's just like the slit, and out pops a piece of paper. She rolls oh, it up and hands it over to you, and um, she's like, yep, if you wanted to tonight write a, uh, a blog about this particular one, if you post it on the forum, I have put a hold on any posts going on our forum, but mm -hmm. at 6am tomorrow it will activate and you'll be the first one to actually write a blog about what you have seen. So here Wonderful. is some extra information to add in. Um, we've recently released your friend Dr. Danielle, so I would ask that you do not make any mention of her. Easily done. Yeah. And with that, um, she's like, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, go up, have some extra tea, but enjoy your, yeah, thank you for coming in. I hope you enjoyed your visit. What's this door? Is that a door? Or is that, that is a, a cover? No, that's a door. Um, okay, she's going to... Can I... Can I there... distract Motsa Face by saying, hey, thanks for letting me visit and get her to come out of the office and leave Rosalind in there? Uh, yes, you can. Just give Rosalind a oh. chance to have a nosy around. I'll yep. just stand like... I'm going to roll a straight <laughs> willpower test. Oh, willpower, I can do Oh, that. no! There was, you can't beat that! Oh, my yeah, word. I'm sorry. That's lots. She is very determined. <clears throat> and, um, she's like, oh, thank you, sir. Um, you know, thank your constituents for me. Thank you for all their funding. I really have a lot of work to do. I'm sorry. Damn, that and, was really high rolls, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, 17 would normally win every time, but yeah. Hold on a turn. Yeah, okay. Three. Six, six, um, well, she does have willpower self discipline, so. Sames. I got three. <laughs> so. Oh, wow. That's irritating. Hmm. Um, oh, okay. Is that good? Uh, no, but she's got additional self discipline. Oh, yeah, she has two, two as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, she's just going to take one last glance around uh, before saying thank you um i'll be sure to get right on that okay cool and yeah have you guys worked out how you are coming into the thing tonight no Absolutely no not. <laughs> okay what do you want to do do you want to have another quick look around uh well the only thing that my character i think my character wants to do is obviously make a key card is yeah. the entrance to the building key card as well? No. Is it locked? Like a normal uh, lock? It's not actually locked. They've just got security guards surrounding it. Um, does my character, who is a hacker lady, yeah. does she think that she would be able to create convincing credentials that would 
allow her to show like that she could show at the door i would say no uh no. well okay. i mean your a i would say a roll for me an intelligence computering hacking type test is that cryptography it's looking for codes and phrases and stuff so it'll just be straight intelligence Uh, 12, you are able to get the information for what security company there is. Yeah. Um, so you know what the security company is, and with that, you're able to get the information as to who provides the uniforms and that sort of stuff. The okay, so I could get, is, like, a uniform or... Well, no, it's now about 8 o'clock at night, and mm -hmm. the shop that does it is closed. Okay. Um, I meant more the line... Oh, sorry. Uh, but I don't know if this applies, but more along the lines of like a, like I know she's gonna, she's gonna try and make herself a card, right? That, yes. Yeah, and then you know, something okay. that she could show, like a like a security thing to say, yeah, I actually have permission to access this. Well, with that card, you will have to wait for someone to actually use that, and so far it hasn't pinged on your phone that someone has used that. Oh, okay, um, I see. So, yeah. I see. At this um, stage, no. All right. Anything <clears throat> anybody else wants to do? Remember, you've got the map there, so there are other entrance points. <clears throat> yeah, looking at the basement. I was thinking about the basement. Yeah. Could we get into the basement? We're in okay. the stairs because we don't even know. Obviously, it's the point of the map. She doesn't even know where the stairs to the basement are. Um, There's loading the doors at the back. The basement would be most likely in one of these other doors you haven't gone through yet the offices the offices yes oh that's a problem that hasn't worked well for us <laughs> <laughs> well you do have someone who does have uh sabotage which is good at picking locks oh that's me yes <laughs> <laughs> maybe Audric needs to have another chat with his security guard friend for a start and, uh, oh yeah i can go and do that I'll distract the employee <coughs> this time. Awesome. Okay. So wait, was it this one or this one that I was supposed wait, to do? Last one. It would be that last one, most likely, yeah. I would think, nearer the back. Of the building. Okay, yeah. so roll for me a... Sabotage. Sabotage, yes. Oh, oh that was God. poo. Uh, 11. Yeah. I get one stun point. Does it help? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you do actually unlock it. However, as soon as you unlock it... <laughs> Because you only rolled a one on the stunt dice, you actually see all of the security guards put their finger up to their ear and tap, and they all turn and look in your direction. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can do much now. <laughs> Put my head in my hands. <laughs> okay, I'm going to roll self-discipline. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Otherwise. Well, okay, yeah. No, cool. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> So this head of security <coughs> walks up and she's like, what the hell are you doing, Roslyn? <laughs> and she is backed by this guy over here. They basically walk up and they're like, what are you doing? What? Why did I you just I don't know what she... Um, there's not really a convincing argument here. Um, what can Come she say? Can we do something oh, distracting? <laughs> Can we do something that's um, worse than that? Like set something on fire? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get fired or something. <laughs> fire alarm? Is there a fire alarm somewhere I can grab? Um, yeah, is there? Is there? It, is. <laughs> it would be... I mean, if it's near the door, that would be perfect. So I can pull the, pull, the, pull the fire alarm and walk out as I do it. Uh, okay. As you do that, uh, the sprinklers sort of start going in the main <laughs> central reception area and um all of a sudden you see the heads of the statues start to rise about i don't know two three centimeters above the actual statue and all of the guards sort of look up and oh what the hell there is no fire now uh, and they start uh heading your way but you walk out i'm walking out the door as i do it yeah you walk out the door. Excellent. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm using this to like, in the start, like, if I go in there, I'm going to try and use this as a distraction to like, boost it as well. Um, Wait, so, can look, I go they, in the door? Can I actually go you, in the store? They have actually walked past <laughs> you and they yeah. are, everybody's I'm walking to the, the door. door. I'm slipping in the door. Okay. 
Oh, um, nice, nice. That. That's perfect. Okay, that was a good idea. <laughs> you do, in fact, see the uh, basement, the stairs to the basement. Um, do, you, do you fancy spending a night in the basement <laughs> on your own? <laughs> uh, I feel like this is a terrible idea, but... Um... No, YOLO, we're going out via the basement. Yeah. I'm... Okay, so one of you is going out the main door, the other, yeah. going, the other two are going through the basement. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's a bit right. terrible, this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so you wait a few hours. There are fairly creepy hours there, but <laughs> after a few hours um, of waiting in the basement, I will now activate the scene. So Rosalind and Henry, you guys have been doing whatever you wanted to do in the basement. Oh, yeah. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We were doing whatever we wanted to in the basement. Him <laughs> in his like, dodgy uh, jacket he walks around in. Yeah. And you guys hear a knock on the door. Huh. You then get a text saying, let me in. Old cough or something. Make my <laughs> what, who's saying, let me in? You get a text from your friend, Aldrich. Ah, okay. <laughs> I suppose we should let him in. Oh, hi yeah, guys. Nice. What have you been doing? Welcome. Hmm? We're in the basement. What have you been doing? Oh, I had to walk quite quickly. Oh, I'm glad. Um, I was in deep poopy. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, for it was, love, it was an inspired idea with the uh, fire alarms. Fire alarm, yeah. I suspect we have even uh, greatly reduced our chance of being able to walk in the front door anytime soon. Yeah, they might recognize I, me. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm probably further to the point, the one that was unlocking something I shouldn't have, but you know, we were desperate. So, here you are in the basement. What would you like to All do right. here? No, what is door. here? Let's shut the door. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, I forget that that's a thing we can do here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not used to that particular mechanic. What's in the basement? Can we do a perception test and lose it around? What's happening going on you here? You can indeed. Anything interesting in there? Um, yes, actually, there is something interesting in here. Can I use some of my six? The, third, the yeah, that's, head that's of nice the one. drone from the third statue seems to be lying inside a crate. Ah. Huh. <clears throat> can we sabotage? Can you do something to that? Yeah. Yeah. Can we, can? can we? Can we? I've got. Can I've we got like synth life as well. Does that help? That is... You got synth life. Okay. Roll yeah. the synth life test for me. Oh. Can we make it? Woo! What's synth life? Uh, working on synthetic um, AI. Like taking over robots stuff. and stuff like that. AI yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, yeah. Normally, you start typing away. Usually, you would know what to do. However, you mistake oh, the off button for an on button, and oh, no! it instantly <laughs> starts hovering up in the air. It turns around, and the Cylon-like lights come scanning around, and it's like restricted <laughs> area. Hide? Can we put it back oh, in no, its box? It's going to attack you now. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, no! <laughs> so everybody roll initiative for me. I'm going uh -huh. to assume... Oh, this is a first um, battle. Aldrich, you went on and grabbed all the guns, and you've given them yep, their weapons. Yeah, I have my gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And possibly some slightly more stealthier type clothes. No. Oh. Where the heck is initiative? Yeah, I'm um, looking for... Oh, it's on the second button uh, across the top. Combat encounter. I can't say I stand So you see where the chat is? There's oh, two there. swords. Oh, yeah. Yep. And click on the dice okay, there. How do I... That's it. There we go. You've done it. Click it. Yep. Uh... There's a dice next to your name. One. Lee and I are just hitting the best rolls today. We are the Our best. So we have the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's really cool is, is Paul's doing really, really high and we're doing really, really low. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like cool. that part. That's my favourite part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's fixed. I actually think it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's ticked the little option in the back end. Yeah, he's that like, just, you know, screw the players. Yes. <laughs> um, I'll roll you there, Ruth, if you want. Yeah, it's not happening for me. I still oh, can't find it. Oh, see, he rolls it. a 15 for Ruth. Look at that. Interesting. <laughs> Can you roll all my attacks Sorry, Paul, as well, please, Paul? I, I need you to roll. Um, yeah, I my attacks. The buttons anymore. <laughs> Too late. Okay, as soon as it worlds up, you recognise that this thing is in combat mode, Rosalind. You get the first attack. I attack it with my uh, pocket pistol. Can, I just want to so hacking. Can, can Rosalind do hacking or something? Like take can I over? aim? Uh, she can, but it will be a pretty high one. I'm talking like 16 to be able to hack okay, it. Not, on, not tonight. Well, no. actually, for her first 
she's gonna actually i know that seems so stupid but you might as well try it once um yeah. can she run up the boxes and try and like i guess you could say like pull it down so that okay. it's so that'll be put it back in his box basement. wasn't it in so, a box yeah like put it in the box and like <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> that's fine that's brawling so okay. I don't know move is that up fighting um You've got brawling on your sheet. If you open your sheet, you've got a little brawling strike and the dice. All right. Yes. Excellent. Chuck it in the box. Nice. Okay. Nice. Um, that is 13. Just let me see. That does actually, yeah, you grab it and you get five stunt points. Excellent. I want to spend babies. With uh, these stunt points, um, do you have them up? I do have them up um as that under that's i'm sure that's combat action it's stunts. under action. action stunts but you can also see you've got general really? action stunts and grappling stunts oh and grappling oh here we go but grappling is yeah let's have a look okay um so how many did i get five, five. Is there you, if you have appropriate equipment at hand like handcuffs are at you and your target make a post fighting grappling rolls if you win take a negative four defense penalty while restrained or they take a defense okay can't do anything other than try to escape with strength yep um let's have a look paul could you put up the uh stunt stunt thing for me please yes Thanks. yeah help me make a decision oh no honestly it's, it's sorry i would have jumped back oh it resets yes. it for everybody oh, sorry yeah it resets no, that, yeah, you no 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 it. restrain i think is the perfect one and it's yeah fine. yeah and, and we can use it with the box we yes. do that with the box all right yeah i'd like to do that then <clears throat> Okay, so basically you run up to it, you flip the box over, and you jump on top of it. <laughs> and, um, you're now lying on top of a box that has this drone trying to buzz up mm. on top of it. <laughs> so it's going to have to make a test, which is your grab fighting. Roll 2d6. How much do you weigh, Rosalind? 2d6. Um, hold on. Roll 1, 2. Is that how it yep. works? And is. then roll. That six. didn't do it how I thought. And again. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, plus two. I see. Sorry. Ignore the plus two part. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. It's cl click the button roll, twice. You rolled a six and you rolled a six. So that's oh, 12. That's pretty plus good. Plus your fighting ability nice. plus your thing. You... So that is uh, 13. So it has to that... make a strength might 13. I would say this is at disadvantage because it is, in box. doesn't actually have might. Well, no, it has propellers trying to push it up. And there, so, it's inside a box. So. It's inside a box. So <laughs> at this advantage, I get well, 11, <laughs> a fail. 11. And 9. So it is not coming up this turn. You have managed okay. to take it out. Aldrich, it is your turn. What am I going to do now? You've put Can the thing in the box. Can she say something in her turn or something? What are you going to do? What am I supposed to do if it, you put it in a box now? What was I supposed to do? Um, is she, are you able to just shoot through the box? Shoot through the box, but then the box to... might collapse if you're sat on it, though. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> Why don't you just squishy. join me on the box? And make just sure all wait on to it. Yeah, all sit on the box. <laughs> it's just not... Can we just, can can we we do just anything... like, log... So can I do anything, like, remotely to get out of it? To do something to it? Uh, that would be still an intelligence synth life Should I try another synth test? Because it was so bad last time, yeah. I should try again. Yes. Yeah, it was awful. Do better. <laughs> that was better. actually better. <laughs> um, you, because it is in combat mode, it's, it's barely a pass, but you are uh -huh. able to effectively disable its Wi-Fi communication. Mm -hmm. um, you can see it's was trying to communicate with upstairs it just hadn't activated it it was still on airplane mode um <laughs> you've locked it onto airplane mode it has visions of you guys buffered in its memory but uh, that's all it has at the moment mm -hmm. you might be able to if you were to disable it you could probably steal its hard drive and no one will know who it was yeah uh, that's what we we're doing here yeah. um harry it is your turn and you actually have a stun baton an electric weapon which does double damage to synths. Excellent. Oh well, <laughs> sorry, Aldrich. Um, <laughs> um but they're currently sitting on a box. They are, but I mean, the box has grates in it. I can assume. Oh that's very convenient. Yeah, that's yeah. So let's try yeah. and like, let's like poke, it. poke it with a stick. Let's poke it with stunt better. 
Yes. Now remember to target it first and then roll your stuff. It's funny how this key to target. <laughs> target the, uh, what's the key again for? It's either T, T. or right click on it and down the bottom left. T. Yep, that's it. Right. Nice spot of T. Okay. I do like T. Think high. And... Think positive thoughts. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> positive. <laughs> Wait, negative one fighting. Why, oh, him? <laughs> You have a negative one. You have a negative one on fighting. I didn't know that. Oh, that's um, low. Yep, sad. Yeah. Is that why you headbutted okay. the door earlier? Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I lost yeah. that fight. Um, so that I'll call that as a minor test because that was easy. Do you just want to shoot it then? Um, no, I don't even want to start firing my gun in the basement at this point. I don't think. No, I don't think Fair you enough. should. Um, yeah. Okay, Rosalind, it is your turn. So. Um. I mean, you have I can't, I can't even. I can't even poke a drone trapped inside does... a small box with a stun baton. <laughs> this is tragic. Does does my takeover help Roslyn? Does my like attack on it last time help Roslyn at all? Um. Well. Does it weaken it or something? You've only really put it into airplane mode and stopped it communicating with the outside life. Okay. Nice. Um. Right. Is there anything I can do to set Aldrich up the next time? Like being able to maneuver it so that he has a better access to it. I need to turn it off or get it mind control. That's what we need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would, I mean, I don't even, well, maybe you could do a security test, but you, you can run an intelligence test to try and get him to it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Can I do cryptography or is it just straight intelligence? It's straight intelligence. I'm doing that. Because that's a good idea. Okay, they're poo rolls, but you know, um, I did get that, two stop points. Yep, no, that's not enough. <laughs> Damn it. Roll with 13. Ah, stinky butts. Okay, yep, they're like, butts. um, she's gonna say, <laughs> just say stinky um, butts. I'll understand. Just say stinky butts. Is <laughs> sure. Out. And Do I have to roll? A seven. Oh, so. look at that. Six, six, and two. Yeah. But no, it was at disadvantage, so the seven goes. Right, I might have to take a quick toilet break, but... All right, let's I'll strategize, because yeah. we need to figure out what the frick we're going to do, can, guys. Can we put it in a bigger box? <laughs> 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 just keep putting boxes on top of it, so it kind of... You know, yeah, I was thinking that. Shall we... Do we want to just, like, bury it underneath all of these boxes? Mm. We'll just throw the box outside the door. Oh, uh, slight... Oh, no, because then it'll... In there. <laughs> <laughs> is there any water um, like an extinguisher or something we can spray with an extinguisher or something like oh yeah um that's a good idea let me think i don't we don't want to be shooting there. i could stick it with we, a dagger. we had true true master thieves here three buffoons in the basement trying to keep <laughs> trying to inside a box drone. <laughs> <laughs> we can stab, uh, stab it with my dagger maybe um no my stun baton is a perfectly good idea if i could you know if you could actually hit, hit it yeah. Well, maybe what we could do then is um... give, give me the stump batting. Might have got a not minus five. I've got a one on my fighting. <laughs> that might be a best use of my two. Is there Avenger any way to like? Do you reckon we could use our dagger to like to destroy like a propeller? Yep. To disable it. A little I reckon bit. we yeah. could. I reckon we could try doing that because if we munch up a propeller, then it's not going to have much control over what the frick it's doing. Yep, that's a good idea. We've got, we've got, yeah. we've got a dagger as well. I've got a dagger, yep. Have you got... You've got a dagger as well, I've eh? got a dagger, yep. Lee. Yep. Yeah, okay, so, Rick, what do you have? <laughs> um, I have a stun bed. Can you, right. If it's in a box, sure you could just put the stun bed in the box and at some point and it's going to accidentally hit it. You know? yeah. <laughs> just put it in and wiggle it around or something. Like it do like a... yeah, I feel like I shouldn't really be able to miss this, no. even with bad aim. Even like, like accidentally <laughs> kind of... Yeah. <laughs> um, I, so how could you miss him? Honestly. I will say, Rosalind, you have a ding on your phone. A little chime alert. Oh, uh, am I allowed to minor action look at it? Uh, <laughs> While I'm chilling yeah. on my box? You can, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I minor action look at it while I chill on the box. <laughs> Seems like someone has used the security. Oh! And um, the card information has been downloaded into your cell phone 
Ooh. All right. Not only that, you know who it was. It came from security guard. What is that? Uh, Serena Shu. Yes. An over eager mm. lover of history and learning. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That's my secret. It's my. It's my. Um, oh, she's my secret her. crush. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a crush Aldrich, on her. What are you doing? <laughs> we decided to use daggers. Daggers <laughs> through the gaps at the. Uh, the spinning propeller. drone, trying to go for a propeller or something, trying to kind of knock it off. Because obviously, so I don't know how big the drone is. Out. Yeah, even if it gets out, it can't do yep. nothing. Okay, yeah. no, that's fine. Target it and make an attack. You can I do get an a aim? Plus two. Um, you will get a plus two to it because it is prone. How far can I roll? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's, pretty good. that's how you roll? Six stuff points. Jesus. Yep. Don't take the Lord's name. And sorry, name. sorry. <laughs> I'm just shocked by how bad our roles have been this whole game. Okay. You no, he, he really believes that divine intervention is mm, how he finally stepped in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Good catch. Point of you, Jesus. <laughs> Not even now. Uh, uh, oh, there's a hamstring here. Could I use ham? Oh, disarm. Yeah. Can I, I don't know if we need to. I don't know if targeting the drone's hamstring is. Hamstring is going to help us. That <laughs> would basically. Yeah, no, no, that no. would kill it definitely. That would totally. Let's do that because yeah, we are. That. Can I do? You can't defeat the drone. Three times, do three lots of three hamstring things because there's two points each. <laughs> Just one for each uh, propeller or something. <laughs> each propeller and then like its camera or something. Yeah. Okay. So effectively, you snip off all of its propellers. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Uh, nice. Now, this drone was down here because it was malfunctioning. That's why it was locked in mm. airplane mode, and you have kept it locked in there. It was a security glitch. Effectively, it wasn't communicating, and someone had t taken it off airplane mode. Uh, no, someone had accidentally put it on, and no one had bothered to check. Um, and Excellent. you have now locked it so it is permanently in airplane mode, and you are able to knock off both of its propellers, as Jeez, well as um, snip off its rifle it has. It's an inbuilt gun, basically. Awesome. So it's not doing anything now. It's just Can we pick, is, it, is it the kind of rifle that's like usable oh, no, outside no, of no. its... Oh, damn, that would be cool. Um, are we allowed to check for that data now? Um, yes. Now that it is completely immobile, you are able to lift the box up and you're able to check for whatever data yeah yeah can we use it to do stuff we've literally okay. completely like immobilized it like You've immobilized what is it going to be able to do however <laughs> if you do take it off airplane mode it will reconnect to the network and it will upload whatever is it in its hard drive okay yeah. so, so we'll swap the hard drive. the hard drive okay um with a little bit of careful checking Surprising. you're able to yep you're able to find it's like an m2 card um and you are able to pull that out. That just nice. seems to be a storage drive. It seems like the internal OS is built onto a flash drive somewhere. So fairly easy to remove that. You then take it off airplane mode. And uh, it's able to communicate now with the network. Nice. Uh, so, do we... with... yeah. yes. so are we able to make it turncoat? <laughs> Uh, you are able to use it to basically see what the cameras are seeing. Sickness. Oh. Let's see what the cameras are seeing. And is, um, I specifically secretly want to know if Serena Shu is cute or not. If what? <laughs> Serena Shu is cute. Excellent. Um, that's all, I, that's all I care about. <laughs> you, you got that oh, from the card. One track mind. <laughs> Okay, so well, I She am, sounds like Hermione Granger. It's exciting, you know. I am going to bring this up. I will show it in... Uh, no, I'm not going to show it in navigation. I'm trying to remember permissions. No, navigation name, foreground, background. How do I get it so you guys can actually see it? That's what I want to do. I'm not sure. Uh, Good question. Roll a, roll a dice. <laughs> okay. If I do that and then activate, can you guys see that? We see a guy behind a desk. Whoa, yes. You wow. can see we see an thing. injured guy on the desk. Oh, yes. security cameras. Woo. He looks good. Yep, so through the security cameras, <laughs> he looks you good, are you able to... <laughs> yeah. 
effectively see everything in like here. Like uninjured. I mean. So you know how many guards down here? You can see three security guards as well as the two drones in here. And if I do the same with level two, if I view the scene here and then I activate, I then activate. can trigger. You may not, not only tokens yet. with vision in the scene. Oh, we got there we go. Oh, look, Whoa, it's, look at the radiating. It's rad radiating now. It's exciting. <laughs> oh, jeez. Help. 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 <laughs> you can see What's here wrong? there are the pulses are now down to about 30 seconds and you can see ah. on the cameras both security guards are sort of looking at it rather confused. No, They're not doing anything else though. Okay. Security okay. okay. So can, is there a path that we can take that has like the least amount of resistance to this point or not? Is it all just like um, Basically. Well, you guys are effectively coming up through here. Yeah. Well, yeah. we can be there. down low, A, eh? and then, like, go but, this way. <laughs> Excuse me. The problem is the top of the stairs. Go. You look at the top of the stairs, there's two guys at the top of the stairs. There are two guys at the top of the stairs. <clears throat> okay. Um, I wonder if we can pull the fire alarm twice. I know. It causes a distraction. <laughs> I immediately pulled distraction. And, yeah. Seems yeah. Weird, um, can we do something to the drones? As uh, we got a drone. We suddenly be great yeah. disabling the current drone. <laughs> well, it can communicate with the other two drones. Can we, can we communicate with them? Can we reprogram it? Can we reprogram it? Can we please reprogram it? Calm down. It? Yes, that's so cool. That sounds like, like a real life spy yeah, mission. Yeah, no, <gasps> I'm in. Did it, like, did it, it's uh, so not to be on you guys' prey, but didn't you destroy its ability to you know physically function? You did. No, but uh, we can make yeah, the other drones do, to do stuff. We're trying to make it communicate with the other two drones. Okay, all right. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, go first. I thought we like that. Even if I roll badly, it won't happen. All right, happen. calm yourself. So, oh. intelligence since life. What I will do, this will be an advanced mm. test. Um, uh oh. Yep. So, the test roll, <laughs> the threshold for it is going to be set at 13. And your final test once you have gotten over 15 you will be able to break into it all right do best do the best okay. so that's not the best that's not enough um with that the downside of not being able to do that is things actually go backwards as you do that you <laughs> suddenly find it is shut off from the network it receives an unknown command and it is shut off, so you're going to have to reconnect it to the network. So another All safe right. life. Uh, however you want to, yes. So one of you also has high intelligence. And yeah, uh, I've got plus three intelligence. Oh, you, you should have a go as well. And you're kind of... Because I got plus three yeah. as well, so you're vaguely uh, computer uh, Yes. That's solving codes and stuff. Yeah. Yep. So just Am I allowed to... intelligence. Yeah, but yeah. just intelligence on its own is enough. Pack it. Oh. Do it. Okay, no, that is enough. <sighs> oh, yeah? Um, so Can I use three stump points? You got, these don't generate... Well, these do technically generate stump points. Um, these will be infiltration stunts. Excellent. But I because say you hacking rolled stunts. three... Look at that. There are, in fact, hacking stunts. Um, you rolled three, and Eldrick rolled three, so you're at zero at the moment, effectively. I don't know what that means. Can you say that one and more time? Total. So you're, you, what you do is you roll the test. If you get over 13, you take yeah. this stunt dice and yeah. you add that up. You have to get an accumulated amount of stunt dice equal to 15 to be able oh, to Oh, I can remember this. This one did that. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so just do, what it's saying is do it roll, roll again, roll. basically. What it's saying is roll again. Basically, every lot of time is a minute. So it's going to see how long it takes you to get Okay. In. Are we um, doing it together? You are put it together. Oh, I did two. Okay. Sorry. Okay. You uh, just slow down a little bit. Oh, sorry. I've stopped. I've not. I'm not doing anything. No, no, that's fine. Mm. You still haven't done your stunt points. That's. Oh right, I'm retarded. Um, here we go. Um. How do you do the stunt points then? What do you roll for that? Because I thought that was yeah. there's no option at the bottom of the uh, roll, is there, for synth life? Um. No, no, you can. This will do uh, exploration stunts, I believe, and that Am is I exploration. 
<laughs> Does this help me with an injection of techno babble or a quick mod to a device? You sidestep one minor complication, impending, or oh, impeding your current goal, or give yourself the ability to perform one task you otherwise couldn't in the current situation. Okay, where is that? That's under exploration, is it? Infiltration. Infiltration. With, with, with. There we go. High tech muscle. Okay. Yes. You are able to perform one task you otherwise couldn't in the current situation. Um, I will give you this one with your high tech hustle. Um, before you can take full control of these drones up the whoops, why did I draw up the top? You are able to give them a weird little command, which basically moves them around a little. They're supposed to be stationary on top of the heads, but both of them pop up and then start hovering a couple of feet away. And that does get the attention of the guards who sort of look at it. They go over to the, um, ped well, two go over to the pedestal, one goes over to the guards, and one of them starts talking on his system, and Miriam comes popping out to investigate as well. So you don't have full control, but you have made them do something weird. Okay. What are the guys doing That's upstairs? Fine. They still stood on the top of the stairs, are they? They are still um, up there. It will be a bit more of a hack to get enough of a distraction to get them to come down. Can let's we keep, keep, keep going? Digging. or You can keep going. So that was the right. first one that you got. Then you yep. rolled a... 14. 18. 18. I rolled an 18. Okay, we need to keep a track of the ones that you rolled, however. So you got 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you're sitting at 11 out of 15. And it's taking you about four and a half minutes to get there so far. So my turn now, or...? Yep, you can have a turn. Okay. Oh, my oh, God. Those were staying. You got stun point, though. Um, Yes, unfortunately, <laughs> even with the stunt point paying it forward, um, yeah, that's kind of set you back quite a bit. You do oh, that sorry. and you trip an alarm. Um, <laughs> both of these ones down here go into combat mode. Oh, no! Has actually drawn the attention of the people <laughs> upstairs. No, this is good. This is good. It distracts them. Oh, no. This is perfect. Intentional. Complete act. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, I meant to do that. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. Totally. Yes. So two guards come down from upstairs and are sort of asking what on earth is happening down here. Um, these ones here have the Cylon light going and they're spinning around <laughs> with alert, alert, intruder detected. Brilliant. That's good work. Okay. Roll another test. Jesus. Who? Either, either, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go for it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky. Yes, feeling that lucky. was good. Oh, come on. Okay, so that is enough. You uh, That gets you the 15, and that took about six minutes now because your one minute whoopsie. Um, <laughs> Planned. <laughs> but you now have control over the drones. What do you want them to do? I think we bang, send bang. them the opposite side, just send them to the left, I reckon we should, to get them out of the rooms, get them to follow. Send them, yeah, send them, like, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully okay, everyone follows. that one flies over there, that one flies over there, and up this path, and they're basically going up the paths, going, attention, intruder alert. The guards are kind of walking around to see what on earth is happening here, um, with the exception of Miriam. Mir she is standing, but she does have her back to it. She is standing over by the pedestal next to this one. She pulls out a terminal, and she is going to do a test of her own. Let's try and get it back again. Can we make them shoot stuff? Oh, ten's not very good, though. She comes up. Nope, she comes up a blank. You can get them to shoot, yes. Okay, can they start shooting, um, like, the floor and stuff? Like, shooting Shoot around the, the floor? like yeah, yeah. As soon well, as that like happens, the, yep, like they do do that. As soon as that happens, the guards instantly react. They pull out all their guns, and you are, in fact, able to see on the camera of level two, all of the guards. Sorry, I will activate it. Yeah, activate. Um, 
all of the guards quickly come running out, with exception for the two that are inside the room. They come through and come through and come through. So all the guards have run downstairs. Can we can we have can them we cause enough sneaky? mate that we can sneak at a sneak through out so here? This, I reckon we should get this guy in this room as well, get him both right at the far. Like in the annoying okay. place out here. Okay, so I deleted a few guards. What happened there? Right, let's make a little break for it. Let's do it. Okay, go. So all the guards are calling. They are all hiding amongst the doors. And, um, yeah, there's basically a shooting gallery. These drones are flying up and down and completely annihilating all of the displays. Uh, Miriam instantly calls up, and she's actually calling. <coughs> you can see her log with who she's dialed. She's calling Adra, the director, the curator. Okay, we'll okay. be quick before it turns up. Yeet quietly. Okay, in that case, um, you three... Can these guys, those drones make lots and lots of noise so they can never hear us? Are oh, they making oh, lots of siren noises? A and... decent amount of noise. Yeah, yeah okay, they can definitely cool. do that. Yep, just so they can't hear us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will get you to roll a stealth test to actually get upstairs. Um, just, I mean, the guards are still there, but they are on high alert. Is but this will be at advantage. It is at dexterity yes okay nice what are you running so dex? You get 14 get dex, five stun points my dex is not great <laughs> uh, you let's trip over mate. wow Actually, one one six mate. one one four that's amazing <laughs> well uh eldrick you did kind of fail that Completely. um Yep, roll a advantage there, right? Advantage. Shouldn't he roll a second time? Yes. Oh, thank yes. you. Good save. Um, <laughs> Remains to be seen. How low can I go? No, I can get lower. <laughs> <laughs> Are we allowed to use our stump points in order to assist him? Yeah, yeah. I would say yes, because um, Harry rolled six stump points. And I rolled five stump points, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so yeah. effectively, you guys Just why picked can't me I up and dragged me with my head. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys get over to here um harry decides to walk out and he trips over something just as he trips over sorry not harry um aldrich, aldrich. just as wait who was it who yeah, aldrich. yeah it was me. just Lord. as aldrich trips Lord. over harry is able to quickly steady him and then give him a good big push into the corner where he just leaned you know, falls against the wall, and yeah, you are safe. I told you I was made for skulking around, Doug. That's right. <laughs> well, you know what happens when people fall over, so you're like ready for it. <laughs> yes, I've learned. I've evolved. I've learned. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you guys get up to the top floor without too much of an issue. Maybe <laughs> Aldrich's pride has been hurt a little. <laughs> Maybe he won't make fun of my stumbles that much. Yeah, that's anymore. right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, here you go. You are now into here, and well, no, you are not into there, Whoop, but you still end, get yeah. access to all the cameras. You have pretty much keyed it to your PDAs that you've got on your wrist, so you can see the cameras. Nice, you should be able to. Yes, all right. I have so we quick know question. these guys are in here, yes. right? Um, yeah, we do. This, uh, this big machine, um, yep. that we obviously can't fit into, yep. Um, do we know if it's possible to make it functional at all? Uh, if you can fit, yeah. Actually, if you wanted to do an uh, engineering test on it, you could. Have a quick look, because that would be a distraction. Uh, yeah, I think so. It would open the door if we send it towards the... the what um, engineering come under? I'm just having a look, I believe... We wouldn't need to make it open the door, because we have a tech that does that. Is it strength? No, not strength. That is machining is strength. Intelligence, Intelligence. would be... Intelligence. No, I don't... It could be tinkering. That could be it. Yep. It could do oh, it no, also. it is. Uh, intelligence engineering. I just wasn't looking at the right. list. Uh, can I get Rosalind to help me? I'm going to help too, but I've got stunt points. Why am I running so badly now? I don't know. Oh, that's better. Okay, that's, that's a roll. Ah, okay. That's a roll. All we right. Go. We found a use for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Effect, 
effectively, Mate. with that, you are able to start it up, and by tinkering around, <laughs> it um, goes slamming into the oh. back, and basically bulldozes these doors here, so you are able to instantly open them without doing anything. And then it sort of puts itself into a 45 degree angle and it digs itself through the floor onto level oh. one and it completely oh. crushes whoever was on level one. Oh. Oh. So at least whoever does, was there on level one, which does this describe like oh, that's a, that was a Bosco, wasn't it? Wasn't it Bosco under them for there? Uh, it was the boss was under <laughs> the security was because that's where the main uh... oh, Miriam. Oh, oh. Well, well, at least you're probably not likely to get uh, chased down and brought up on charges now, so you're welcome. <laughs> there you go. Look at you helping. Um, what, what are these two um, still going to try and stay out of sight while this yeah. is Yeah, or do we just pull the gun and walk in and say, hey guys, just don't bother doing anything or something? Is it doing that? <laughs> I, I want to see where they react to this. Well, okay, go walk in. Can we be like more, more like this way? Like yeah, well, out you of can the way, now come kind of? through this way sneaky, because those doors are, the walls are basically gone. In nice. fact, I will see if I can remove the walls. The, yes, I can actually remove walls. Amazing. Do, 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 knock, knock. Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. Delete that one and delete. So it looks like there's a big black thing there, but those walls are completely removed now. Nice. <gasps> oh, draw my gun. You draw your gun? Okay. You walk around to the stone and you can see it is glowing and you can see the two guards completely mesmerized to it um make so can, me... I, can i smack him on the yep. back of the head and knock him out well i want to move towards him i want to know if i can stun bat him and then if they're mesmerized because they must be very yeah, mesmerized just... because we just blew a hole in the wall and dropped a machine and through the floor nothing has happened yes so I'm i would like to try and that... stun bat them She's going to say, don't look at... Oh, wait, no, that's not my right character. Who is this character? Um, <laughs> don't look at the crystal. The, uh, one of them, this one here, completely ignoring you. This one here, you see a glint of metal come from underneath his throat, and suddenly his throat gets slit, and he's just standing there like nothing's happening until you see his eyes roll out the back of his head. Is there a suspicious-looking woman there? Is there a suspicious looking shady lady? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she basically grabs him, pulls a gun, and is pointing it at you guys. And she's like, third time the charm. You owe me a drink. Okay, so you guys are here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't ask you to buy me that drink. I mean, I appreciate you getting that creep off me, but I didn't ask you to buy me that drink. And you didn't buy me a drink upstairs at the gala. So, I was going no, to, but I was told not to. Rosalind said not to. It's not what you're supposed to do. That's crazy. <laughs> See, I was like, right all along. <laughs> <laughs> she's basically holding Somehow it. I feel like, like okay, so got... you are here for the egg as well, are you? Indeed. You uh, can, I, can I, can I, can I, while this conversation is happening, okay. can I zap? Can I zap this guy, other guy? guy out. Yep, okay. Um, basically, yeah. He doesn't have AC, he's not like... Oh, no, he just... doesn't. He's, he's prone. He's fine. I'm so. sure that... Brett's character can just put his arm out and just... <laughs> not miss. <laughs> um, not stab himself. Roll damage. But you no. need to roll double damage. Oh, oh, actually, gosh. roll damage. Yeah, roll damage. What's the easiest way to get through? I still going to have to roll an attack, aren't I, to get the dust? I don't know. If you oh, click on the punchy thing. Punch the fist. Ah, right. Ah, oh, right. Look at that. So it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Well. Six points. So it's three points Harry. of damage. This guy... Well, no, because it's ten plus the damage you roll. And he then has to make a constitution test. Nice. Which he succeeds. No, he fails, because that's 13. 13. So 13. you zap him, and he instantly starts to go limp and falls over. Are you going to catch him or just let him fall? I'm going to let him fall, come on. We just, oh, okay. the, we, we just dropped the yeah, Thunderbird's true. mole on top of the boss. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. He is now prone. Hmm. So he's unconscious and he is prone. Um, All right. She walks over to them while using him as a full meat shield. In fact, nice. she is going to come here and um, she starts trying to pat the stone a bit. She's sort of moving him in between and she's like, 
You guys can't have it. You don't know what the stone is. Do you know what it is, though? You? I was yeah, going it's worth to say. a hell of a lot of money. That's what that is. Uh, no. It's worth a hell of a lot of lives is actually what it is. So we can do Whoever, like a pencil move on her. Lives? We can do a pencil hey? move on her. We can kind of go, or I'm going to go around the back of her. And she is going to start pulling the security guard there, and she's going back into the wall. Rosalind, well, if you just drop down the bottom, what then you doing? can just go down the bottom so you can kind of catch her from the outside. Because we can pin, we got, there's three of us and one of her, so it's easy enough for us to, to pin yep. her. She fires a mean? bullet that goes just skipping past Rosalind's head, and she's like, you guys, I'm not joking, just turn around, walk away, let me have this. Well Play no, nice me as to whether you think you can shoot all three of us uh, and take the stone. I'd be very amused to see you try. Rosalyn yes, also I, pulls out her pocket pistol. my command, and you guys are going into combat then. All right, you need to help me. I don't know how to find my freaking... Fair how enough. Do we... She wants sitting... to be dumb, she can be dumb. Okay, I'll roll your initiative for you. Yes, you got please. 16. Whoa, who nice. that? Um... Can we get one of these drones to help us? <laughs> uh, no. Didn't they're a little bit occupied. <laughs> okay, so Rosalind, your turn ah, Rosalind first. first again. Right, he's going to shoot at the lady. Okay. Uh, while shoot. aiming, aiming first, and then shoot so, at the lady. lady in the head. Remember to target her. Um, yes. Oh, that's T. Right, yeah. T. Yep. And then. Boop. Come on, this be good. Nice. Nice, and four slot points. If it hits her anyway. 16, what That's is awesome. her defense? The defense, uh, yes, that does hit. All right, can we make this extra bad somehow? Um, firearm oh, stunts. Sure. Yeah, I'm looking at Firearm, up, um, you can't use firearm stunts that are automatic because your gun is not an automatic pistol. Oh, Precision mark and shirt attack, the firearm advances, aim boost. No. Uh, as well as general action. What's over? All right, Lee, give me, give me a, a pistol whip. How many did I get? Four. You got mm. six, four. Yes, four. Call shot is good. Basically, makes your weapon penetrating. Yeah. yeah so it okay. Her, uh, her armor. Armor. Yes. That's, that's, and in this that game, the, damage that hurts the, in this game as well. Is that for yeah. the? Uh, duration, or is that just for just the shot? shot? Just, just shot. Oh well, that's all right. I'm just going to shoot her, and I'm going to do it with cool shot. Okay, uh, with cool shots. Yep. So, can you click damage? Damage modify extra dice. Okay, just roll normal damage, and I'll adjust it accordingly. Apologies. Do I just press a D? What do I press for that? Press the damage button. Oh, damage. Right. right. There's a button. Yep. I see. So you do five damage. I will apply. And I will get this uh, one, two, three, four. So you basically ignore all her armor. And she goes down maybe about a fifth of her health. It was only five damage. Um, okay, that makes it... Ooh, I didn't actually begin the combat. Now I've begun the combat. Now I've done that. I've put the combat tracker into my other page so I can see. She is going to target you there because you shot at her. So. Why does that die? Fire now? a machine pistol at you. <laughs> 16 yeah, success. Absolutely. Oh, I've got. Yeah. Oh, six and one. Okay. Jeez. So that puts you down to half your health straight off. Isn't it more it than that? No. Actually, it's a bit less. Because your AC is wrong. At, so. Yeah, you're at 10 out of 16. So, uh, oh. Aldrich, your turn. I'm going to shoot her in the head. Well, we're going to okay, shoot her anyway. go for it. No. You missed. Basically, you oh. shot the guard. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Harry, your turn. Righty yo. Um, well, I would also like to do the shooties. Yep. So, let's use a gun. Yep, you can aim. If yeah, you want tick, to. There's a little tick box aim. Yeah. It's there. Where's that? Just above you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, see. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay. 
Uh, let's try that again. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. Oh, twice. We'll take the first okay. one. And I had a bit of lag, but that obviously, I thought it did yeah, it well. No, no, oh, yeah, the first the one's perfect. What type yeah, of yeah. gun do you have? Uh, revolver. Okay, that Six is four. not. Do you have pistols? Um, no, so the revolver is not an automatic weapon. You can't add stunt dice, so just click the damage button. He doesn't so have stunts didn't, didn't on have there stunt anyway. points anyway. No, no, no. Automatic weapons, you add your stunt dice to the damage on top oh, of everything okay. else. Yeah. Because right. it accumulates adding <laughs> Four and one bullets well. into it. That's all right. Apply. So this hits a lot of um, the guy in front of her as well as nicks her body armor. It only took one hit point off of her. <laughs> and Rosalind, it is your turn again. All right, she's going to aim and go again. Hopefully, oh, six six. Nice, six stunt points. Far out. Nice. Okay. Well, um, someone could do shooty, shooty. Roll damage, but I was going to see if there's. Can I just roll damage and then? No, see just wait. If... Just wait. Because cool shot. We do cool shot. We're going to have two points. You can do as well. Yes. Which could possibly be okay. interesting. Uh, um, two shot. There is double team. Is a good two shot. Uh, lightning damage. Vicious blow. So vicious blow gives you an extra one d six. Lightning damage, um, you get to shoot a second time. And double team, you get to choose someone to take a free shot at her. Okay. They're all two stun points. Okay. So, I I'm sorry. I am a little bit. What should I do, Lee? <laughs> Tell me, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could give, you could either take, how much damage do you do? How much damage I don't do, do that much. Is it I was thinking me... if I was going to giving you an extra yeah, shot. Yeah, give me a free shot maybe a good idea, yeah. Right, I'm going to give me a free shot, and then do I still have enough for the cool shot thing? You yes. Do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I would like to do that, please. Okay, click on damage, please. Oh, that was stinky. Another one. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's cool, though, so it's no, there's no AC against it, so. Yeah, so it's still three points of damage. Still three points of damage. Yeah. It basically passes through her shoulder, which doesn't have any armor on it, and um, it, it hurts her. It hurts her. Nice. She so, is now going to target wait, you. Wait, wait, are, wait. I've got an attack now. You have a shot as well, don't you? Is it you? just a sh normal shot, yeah? It is a normal shot. Not yes. aimed or anything like that? Just a... Um, you can. Yeah, I'll let you aim. And I missed. No, no, no. Oh, I'll let plus you one aim. then. So plus one, so yeah. I hit. <clears throat> ah, yes. Okay, um, you don't get stunt points, but if you click, instead of clicking damage, click add SD. That's nice. damage. That is a decent amount of damage there. Um, you've dropped her down quite a bit. She's now below half her health. With that, mm. she turns around and she's attacking you there, Lee. Mm. Okay, 14 is enough to hit. I don't have any stunts. Whoa. I'm, dead. <laughs> I'm out. That's me done. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll be out. Right. Yeah, I think yeah, so. I've got Ballistic 4, so 15 points damage. I'm sorry, but that does, in fact, take you down. Yep. Did he just <laughs> die? <laughs> Holy he died cheese. In one shot. Yes. This game is hard. What the hell? <laughs> uh, gun battles are brutal. Is there okay. no way to, like, I don't know, um... Like resurrect or not? Is he just dead now? Oh uh, no, he is down. He gets what is his constitution? Zero. So he Zero, gets yeah. three turns for someone to stabilize him. Okay. Is it her turn? No, her turn's no, just no, gone. Is it my it turn now? Harry. No, it's Harry. Turn? Harry's turn it's now. Harry's turn. Yeah. Oh well, let's continue to roll pathetically and or we'll die. Well, why don't right. you pick? Why don't you get me? Um, yeah, get, pick him. Oh, well, I'm going to do that anyway. Actually, Brett should attack because he's got higher. Gunnage, my character's going to come for you. Cool. Ooh. I'm just anyway. Ooh. But uh, miss. That, that is a miss. Um, what I will say, however, this shot here is the very last shot that she can use the body because that body is now fallen to the ground and crumpled. That will lower her AC by two. Oh, so that's a hit then. So. Nice. Oh, that was short. She okay, had for a next bonus round, to yeah. AC because this guy here was dead. Yeah. Uh, a was, bloody mess. Yeah, but he is now dead. Okay, Rosalind, your turn. Shay's going to yeet over here and try and stabilize her. Okay, guy. That is an intelligence medicine test, and it's only 11. Oh, that's nice. 
All right. Um, oh, I do the style. Is, not only that, you come back with one hit point because she got such a decent roll. Nice. Awesome. You um, are... It... Well, why does that hit points? One. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be wanted to give you one hit point. Um, but you are prone on the ground, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, no, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, um, what yep. kind of spunk points can I use for that, like, to help the situation? Because obviously she's pretty hardy. Uh, this will be combat stunts. Combat? Where do I find that? I can't even see that. Action stunts. So general action. action. Oh, action. Yeah. Okay, general action. Um, nice. So you can't use anything that will give you... We like, attack or lethal blow or anything. Okay, that's fine. No, but... You can use... I will let you use double team twice to give both the other guys an extra shot. Basically, yes, you pull out an adrenaline stick, you stab it into Aldrich's heart and pump it in. Yeah. He wakes up with his hand still on the gun and he just pulls up and starts shooting. Hell yeah. Can we do that? And I will let you do that so both of them get an extra one. Plus, you can use lightning attack and then turn around and attack her as well. So everybody gets a free shot at her. Yes, please. Time? Sounds nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, uh, are we allowed to do it with aim or not? Uh, no, not with aim. Harry can. Um, okay. The other two, no. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, let's go, team. Okay. Oh, oh that was poo. Oh, that was poo. Oh, come on. One of us do something. Come on. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking useless. Okay. You basically layer a whole heap of fire into her. Um, she... <laughs> Yeah, okay. That is your turn done, Roslyn. She <laughs> is going to well, move to here. She basically yanks out the stone, and now she is doing a run. Um, I'm going to have her run over to here, in which she quickly scans a swipe card and gets through here. Okay. It is now Aldrich's turn. There's no other exits in this place, is there? Uh, well, you still haven't found where the stairs up are. Uh, yeah, so that corridor she's gone down. Yep. What I'm saying is that there's no way of any other exits from there, or do you reckon there's a supposed to be one? Uh, there's no exits here, so she's going to have to come through. She's going to have to come out. So, yeah, well, I'm going to go out through that way then. Kind of stand up and, you know. Okay, um, I am going to say your speed is moved down by half because you are dragging yourself bit, along. Bit broken. Yeah, so. Where's that? One, two, three, four. What have I got? Yeah, uh, six, will be, six will be the max. Oh, one, two. No, it's not letting me do it. So that's two meters. Well, I have to do that, do I? There, so you can move up to about there, I shall give you. Yeah, and I'll stay there. I'll just hunker down. Put my pistol pulled. Cool. Remembering that this big machine here gone, is no yeah. longer there, and yeah, there yeah. is a hole in front of you. I wonder, can I draw the hole? Yes, I can. So, you can basically see a massive hole there. Um, that is no longer floor. I might actually go that way then, if that's the case. Yep. Okay, Harry, it is your turn. Um, I shoot myself out of shame. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, I'm just going to follow Aldrich slash overtake Aldrich because, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you can move. I'm a bit dead. Yeah. Yes. So I have no idea how far I can move, but yeah. Uh, that's where it I'm going. is basically your movement speed. Um, each square is two yards and you can move 11 yards. Um, so up to 10. Cool. Uh, so that is a minor action. You can use your major action to effectively guard up or be on the lookout. So if something comes, you get a free shot. Same as holding your action, basically. Um, I guess there's nothing I can do to move faster, then I'll do that. Cool. And then we go off to Rosalind. Your turn. thought that we had the ability to key card through stuff. Is that not true? You do have the ability to key card. This door is now open. And can I sprint after? Yeah, yeah. You I'll can. Uh, what is your speed? Your speed is 11, um, so you can move five squares and one movement. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, can you see her from there? Uh, well, I can see her, I think, uh, yeah. Let me Please just... I don't know if I can see her or if it's just... Is she, I if she's on the map, her. then... No, I can't you see, see her. her now. I can't no. see her, no. No. Am I allowed to do, like, a dash or anything like that? Um, is that a yes. Thing? So you can run, which is a oh. major action. Um, which is double your movement, but then you don't have a major action for anything else. Okay, that's all right. I think I just want to... Uh, well, it's not like there's anything else I can do, right? Not really. Unless there is. Can yeah, you, so I'm just going to do that. Can you do oh, like a cover you can thing, say. can you? Cover thing? Yeah. Well, so, so, so what you do is you go around the corner and you poke your head around the corner, wouldn't you? Like to see if she's yes. down there or something like that. And you can instantly see she's having an issue dragging this thing along. Yeah. So I just want to be in step with her for my major action anyway. Uh, you just want you don't want to be in a position where she's going to shoot her, but I uh, shoot you, but you want to be able to see it. Yeah, yeah I see. Um, she does see that it is now her turn. She uses her move action, but she can only move half her speed, um, which actually brings her to there. And um, her major action is she is doing the same thing that Brett is doing. She is holding her action, her major action, in case someone else pops through the door. Yeah. Aldrich, your turn. Hmm. I'm kind of useless. I was going to go around then, keep going, wake around, but it's going to take me so long to get there. <laughs> well, it's not like. Oh no, Carol. What, two, three, four? What? I can't see that. What is that? Is that six, eight? Or like there? I'm thinking of going around here, basically. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay. Going around the top of the stairs. And hopefully using this fence as a bit of a cover. Uh, it's a wrought iron fence. I don't know how much cover it'll hold. It's better than nothing, though. Just crouch down behind it or beside it. Just as a... It'll give you a plus one on your defense. Oh, there you go. Cool. That's me. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Defense cool. will give you a plus one on defense. Defense does. <laughs> Harry, your turn. Uh, well, I guess I've got to go around that way too, don't I? That freaking hole you made is quite good. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, I'll get as far okay. as you can. You can probably go further yep, than that, yeah. can't you? Um, That's five squares. You can run. Uh, can I? Yeah, running is a major action. You can't run and move, but you can run to do two things, or you can take move action twice, which is effectively running. Okay. Perfect. Okay, you can't run, however, because you're... No, I'm the dead. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Rosalind, your turn. All right. She's going to come out here. And as soon take... as you get seen, she is taking a pot shot at you. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, hell. Oh, wow. It yeah. is a success. Of course. 13. Well, that, it doesn't kill you. Doesn't kill you. Nearly. <laughs> um, can I take a shot at her now? You can indeed, yes. Am I allowed to do it while aiming or not? Yes, you are. I'll let you aim for this one because um, you're obviously using your gun to lean yeah. apart and move around. Yep. Don't miss. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, lovely. Points. There we go. All right. Can I, I kill her harder somehow? Um, <laughs> I would say your best bet would possibly be use lethal blow, do an extra 2d6 yes, damage. Extra 2d6? So right click on damage. And damage two six. Yes. Twelve. Got a damage. This does hurt. She is fairly badly wounded, and um, she, yeah, that was enough to basically let her drop the um, the egg, and she is not a happy person. <laughs> um. She now you only going... use part your movement. You can. I'll let you move back into cover. Is it possible to wait? Wait. So one, two, three, four, and and hide here. It is indeed. Yep. 
Okay, I'd like to do that. So she will still be able to attack you, but you get a plus, uh, I believe it is a plus four to armor, as well as plus four to defense. Okay. Okay, it is her turn. She is heading back this way, and she's using her major action to swipe. Um, You can hear her basically swiping. She's like, what the hell is wrong? Swipe, swipe, swipe. What the hell is wrong with this? And then she pops open. There's a freaking USB in here. What is that? Pull. And then you hear a click (laughs) and the door open. (laughs) But that is her action because the USB was in. She did not have enough time to actually get into the security cupboard. Okay. So, um, Aldrich, your turn. I suppose I can hear his commotion, can't I? You can. No, I can't do much. I'm too far away. I can't actually do anything, though, because there's a freaking hole in the way. I was going to keep following this guy. Uh, okay. uh, one, two, three, five, six. One more. Yep. Yeah, I can't do much. I'm just not dying cool. is what I'll do. Yep, no, you can still do your action to... Um, I can't remember what it is. It's basically like prepare, I think it's called. Okay, pull that gun. Sit crouch position. Yep. Um, Harry, are you doing anything or are you aiming and preparing? Um, I mean, you've heard her go into the security closet, so you can assume she will be coming from this direction now. Well, she's going to be coming from there. Let's just uh, move up to the edge of cover a bit. Yep. And get ready to shoot. Okay, cool. Um, Rosalind, it is your turn. From there, right. you will be able to target her. Rosalind, how much so health have you got left? She's got three hit points left. Okay, just be careful. So I'll let you move to there, and you can target, and this won't constitute an attack because you're merely just leaning around. Plus where did the... she leave? Where did she leave the thing? Did she still leave it or not? She did leave it. It is currently is it? sitting here. Okay, so it's still kind of too far away. Um, I am going to poke my head around and aim and shoot. Go for it. And hope for the best. Nice. Another six stunt points. Nice. Like a wiener. What's her name? Some, glad someone's um, doing I would say roles. use two. Near for, death lady. Yeah. Um, the assassin. I would say okay, use two to thing. do a brutal strike. Not brutal strike. Yeah. Um, what is the one where you do an extra d6? Vicious blow, sorry. Two to use vicious blow and then under firearm stunts four to call the shot. So you're doing an extra 1d6 and you're ignoring her armor. Okay, I'm doing that then. Okay, uh, then right click on damage and add an extra do d6. It, do it. That's it. Seven points, apply damage. One, two, three, four. No armor. That, she only had seven hit points left exactly. <sighs> so you managed to kill her just. Yeah. All right. Nope. Congratulations on doing everything. Are we out of, are we out of um, well, you're the doofus you that ran away out. from yeah. You are um, now out of combat, yes. All right, I'm going to go and pick up the thing. Yep. And um, then I'm going... Downstairs is a massive commotion. You can see yep. everybody is going around the security uh, the thing down on the ground. I will let you open that up there. Uh. Uh, I'm just going to so crawl along slowly. Help. Crawl along slowly. There is still the top level you can escape from. Oh, good. Okay. How do, we get, find it. how do we get so to the top level? Found it yet. Have a look at the map that you originally Yeah, I've lost had. my map. Can I get the map back again, please? Sorry, yes, you I can. press buttons. Thanks. It does actually tell you where it is on the map. Attic window access to roof. No. To attic. It's on the second yes. floor, so it's down the bottom there. Okay, it's past the toilets. Yes. Come this way. The whole time. Come this way, guys. <laughs> See, look, you did this thing. <laughs> yeah, go look. I'm going to beat you <laughs> hobbling along. Um, with your speed, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quick. I Quick. Are we no, moving? don't. No. Everybody's moving. We're all moving. Moving. <laughs> we're going so fast that we're not going Okay, so, so the attic. Um, did I put you guys in the attic already, or do I have to move you there? No, we've never been there, have we? No, you haven't been there. Uh, That's exciting. And activate it. So you guys get up here. You can see a red light sort of thing that is open. 
Um, it has been jarred open. You can pretty much assume this is oh, how, she how she got, got to the building. Oh. Yeah. She decided to go up from the top. You guys went from the bottom. Nice. Teamwork. <laughs> and hey, uh, motive. Yes, through that you are able to come back. I'm just going to make this scene uh, night. And you meet your friend. Let's see. You meet your friend at the Sage's Quill, where it is now night time. There's not And we're bleeding profusely. Here. You are badly bleeding, yes. <laughs> you meet her and you are able to give her the egg. Tis but a flesh wound. Exactly. <laughs> As the first of the three hit points. I mean, Brett really won this because he had no hit points taken off him. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's because he kept throwing the head points in the wall. Didn't lose any hit points in the walls? No, you don't lose hit points for that. <laughs> Seems inaccurate to life, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He must lose at least one, <laughs> one intelligence or something. Anything, Maybe lose so. intelligence to head points walls. Uh, well, I was already minus one, wasn't I? So, oh, no, actually, I have some intelligence. I have two. Good figure. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're able to give her the egg. She has this crate. It looks like a guitar case that she, or a cello case, actually, that she has a whole heap of electronics and stuff in it. She puts it nestled nicely inside the uh, cello case. You can see it's pulsing every second now. And she's like, man, you guys got here just in the nick of time. She pushes the buttons and suddenly the pulsing sort of, it just glows as if it's a constant pulse. And she's like, don't worry, it's meant to do that. Type, 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 type. Yep, no worries. It is really meant to do that. Type, type, type. And then the light, dims. Her, <laughs> the light dims and she closes the case. And she's like, thank you guys. That, yeah, I think you guys have just saved at the bare minimum the city. Um, you could possibly have saved the world. It really depends on how quickly this thing could have grown. But you guys have done well. You have basically stolen an egg i didn't expect you to do it how did the mission go by the way quite well hardly quite any well. casualties <laughs> there were casualties um who died hardly what any hardly any. i don't like the sound of that what happened uh i think harry can best i need explain. a drink i need a drink that's what happened <laughs> like you're not looking too well i think you should have more than a drink i think you should go to the hospital <clears throat> well um, there was a very unpleasant uh Operative there trying to steal the same What was item. her name? What was her name? She didn't assassin. She was just assassin. Oh, assassin. She was okay. assassin. Lady assassin. She's like, yeah. yeah, I I told you there could be people also trying to steal the egg. What well, did did turn violent? Did she try and attack you? Oh yeah, a little bit. We're not. We're not. Uh, we're just bleeding for our own recreation. <laughs> It's like, yeah, okay. Um, I I am sorry <laughs> about that. I I don't know what to say. Um, it's all in the pain apart from fun, that, you know? though, it was it was fine. There's also you know, a small matter of something got crushed by a small drilling machine, but everything what? is good. <laughs> drilling machine, that oh, yeah, was inoperable. We put some flashy lights on that. What did you do to oh, it? Oh, no, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> well, I just um, turned it on. Uh, <laughs> we had our top scientists look at that for a couple of days. And they could, it, it couldn't turn on. What did you? What, what are you talking this? about? Well, I just had to connect the flux capacitor. And <laughs> reverse the polarity. Yes, and uh, yeah. and that was it. Really, it was elementary. He made it look really easy. We assumed it was just a simple. I didn't even realise it was a problem. Okay. I just thought, and you know, someone got crushed. Milk. I mean, was someone sitting next to it when you took um, it on? No, under, well, more of an under. It's more. Uh, yes, underneath was more of the problem. Uh, um, people couldn't get under it. It was pretty close to the ground. How, how it was on get... the second ground, floor. Though. Oh, that was the second floor. Yes, it uh, was quite close to the ground. Are you telling me there's a hole in my museum? Well, you're fired, well, so it's not really your one. museum, is it? Well, I suppose not. No, but, but double aspect roof. Is there roofs? a hole there? No, it's, there's it's, double, it's, double aspect roof. It's really cool looking now. It's actually an open-planned, multi-tiered lobby <laughs> now, so you're welcome. I I suppose, I mean, you guys did save the city, so a bit of collateral price, damage is, it is a small price to pay. It's, well, probably not a small price. That's going to cost a lot of money to repair a hole like that. That was marble. More, for money, to pay, more money for an entire city, I should think. Well, all I can say is thank you, guys. I um, I will tell your, um, your employee Superiors. that... 
Yeah, I, I am happy you have done an adequate job. I may not be giving you a five-star review on Yelp for putting all of these things. <laughs> Collateral damage is a bit much here, but... What? Well, you put a hole in a museum. We save the city. You... We save the city. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Ghostbusters delete. It's basically the Ghostbusters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Ghostbusters. Really? Anyway, and besides, Relative. only one only one Relative. person was squashed by said digging machine. Well, we assume yeah, only one person was squashed. No, actually, true. We don't know. Don't know. <laughs> well, as you guys scroll Facebook, um, you do <laughs> see that Facebook. there is news all over the town. The police are going nuts. Um, the <laughs> museum has been cordoned off, and um, apparently, um, Alda was under. Uh, was talking to her head of security when something from the second floor crashed through the floor and squished them both. So... Oh. oh no! <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, you know, we you, have to break almost, eggs. you like... can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, as they say. That's a lot of eggs broken. That's at least two humans dead. But well, four. well, four. Yeah, the four? they. Um, the assassin oh, killed right. the security guard. She was ah, using yes. well, You guys kind of built him full of bullets. I, I did not kill the... Well, you know, she's cut his throat first anyway, so he was Well, dead. he was dead, but you did still fill him full of lots of bullets. Ah, it's redundant. Said. But I, okay, I stunned did, my security did. guard. I didn't True. So he's alive. He is we alive. He is happy. desecrated a body, but we didn't <laughs> kill him. I feel like okay. there's an important distinction. Importantly, there. the security guard that Rosalind has the hots for is still alive. So, so uh, Violet Pentagilt, she is the one, she is giving a um, interview with some people, and she said, yeah, no, all I know is I was looking at the uh, this gem, or, you know, the stone, and suddenly <laughs> I'm unconscious on the ground. I don't know what happened after that. But um, she said, it doesn't really matter anyway. I've had enough of this. I'm... I quit. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I quit. Perfect. <laughs> Roslyn is just. I'm going say, to become well, a writer. <laughs> well, I've got to get home. I've got a review to write. Oh, yes, that's true. By to tomorrow morning. By 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if uh, Elder will. But she's not alive a, to appreciate a pro it. Yeah, priorities <laughs> might change. She's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's not there to approve it anyway. But this is quite good in a sense because apart from, you know, the unfortunately wanton murder, um, what is quite good though, is that uh, the secu the person who saw you being suspicious with the door. Uh, it's dead. Yeah. Yeah. So. Isn't a role opened up for our friend, the doctor? Maybe we should go back now. That the main person's dead. Actually, she could. She could go back as head of, head of um, the head museum curator. stuffs. Yeah. Yes. True. We've actually Look, opened really a vacancy opened the for her, thing. tied up the unfortunate uh, identity issues for Rosalind, and saved the city. I, what more could we, one do? We just keep We winning. should get five stars on Yelp then, definitely. We should <laughs> absolutely get five stars on Yelp. We got your job back. <laughs> Sweet. So that was the D and D module. Um, and what is it? The gold keys to the golden vault. It dropped two weeks ago, and it oh, has cool. been converted into modern age. So, yeah. That's cool. But it's it. I mean, you can pretty much play any campaign with this. I was thinking of buying a few Call of Cthulhu modules that I've had my eye on for a while and playing that, because that would work so well in the system, I believe. Might it be possible yes. that we, I mean, whether or not you guys want to, want to create characters that, like, is it, does it always have to be random characters? Because I keep getting attached to characters and then we change our characters. <laughs> oh, no, and no. I, I can't actually handle the emotional whiplash. <laughs> like, um, well, no I mean, characters. this particular stream is the rando stream to create a random character and just see how the oh. system plays it. Oh. <laughs> oh. So we oh. can do an actual campaign if you wanted. I would rather. Just I, because... I quite like Aldrich and Rosalind, but I think I want to change my character. I'm sort of Harry, Dick. Dick Why? Harry. Harry's the shady. Harry's dick. The shady. I know. I just don't. He's, he's, he's not vibing. You know. I just don't know what to do with him. <laughs> yeah. Um. If we were to actually do a campaign, I would say instead of rando, you guys actually get the full choice. Which um, yeah. The way you build with a choice is you get twelve increases, and you can put them however you want. 
Right. That would be cool. Let's do yeah, it's that. It's also a good excuse to actually bring an accent for the character that makes sense. It does. <laughs> an accent, did you say then? And you no, know, I yes. like. Oh, you've already got an accent. You're British. <laughs> exactly. Well, you can speak whatever British. you like. It doesn't what matter, does it? British, though. It could be any kind of British. Sit there, sip your tea or partially. What accent? It doesn't matter what the accent that is. You don't, don't worry know. about it. It's my drinking tea. Like, accent. Where the hell are you from? <laughs> it's not important. Most people tea. listening aren't actually from your region, so they don't know anything. Oh. <laughs> I could well, do farmer though, like farmer Eldrick, or at me lover. Can I have some cider? Oh my gosh, that's so good! <laughs> oh, <laughs> please, <laughs> uh, you don't have to be committed to anything. I'm lying. You absolutely do. That's amazing. <laughs> um, yep, I think Canada. we can have a meeting and look at doing a permanent one if you guys wanted. Um, we can, can see we... if you want it live streamed. Can we not do it next week? Can we do it like, uh, next like week sometime during Easter, the week oh. after? Yep. No, yes, I've got assessments due. Oh yes, you've been just work. finished. I'm just finishing practicum um, at my school with my children, and they will be like, "You need to have like a week's worth of planning submitted in this format and that format." You're and doing there. actual work, are you saying? Well, I'm training to be a teacher, so yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yep. It's like work without being paid, except you have to pay and do lots of work. <laughs> what? So that one day you <laughs> will doesn't... get paid oh, to do work. You might get paid. No, one day you'll get paid to oh, do work, will. like next year when I'm qualified to almost be a teacher. <laughs> Does it make sense? It makes no? sense. I kind so basically so. you train for three but, years. But also you hang out with kids all day job, long, yeah? Yeah, it's wonderful. That's oh. so cool. Oh. They'll like, they'll like, occasionally like throw something at each other, mm. or like, or like flail, and they will be like, "Why is this other kid crying? I don't understand. There's, there's no reason they should be crying. I didn't hurt myself." You're paying for the like, privilege to do this, yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah, because it's a, like that's you do that to uh, get qualified, but then you don't become registered until you've worked as a teacher for like two years. So. I won't actually be a teacher for another Sounds two years after. Really so. complicated. Cool. Well, yep. Um, I'll have a chat with you guys a bit later with timings and that sort of stuff. And where do you guys want to go if you do want to do something like that? I want to be emotionally invested in my character. Fair enough. Well, perhaps we can choose campaign or I can use a vague Eastern European accent. <laughs> I want instead. to be blood. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It would be interesting <laughs> converting oh, you're not. Into <laughs> like a modern. vampire you know, we're one. We're siblings because we're siblings. They think that would be fun. What are we doing idea. now? <laughs> I do not like it. <laughs> oh, it's we could be, I could mix vampires and KGB. Vampire Russians. I think it's an excellent idea. <laughs> Where's the vodka? <laughs> 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 Oh, we have to do something along these lines. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if it's humorous. I just want to commit, you know? Yep, no, that's fine. Yes, buddy. <laughs> Sweet. Well, we'll have a week off while I come up with plans because these take, Excellent. like, the maps themselves take a bit to create. And... They're quite wonderful. Quite, really. quite. The maps, actually. Um, yeah, this 3D one only does fantasy maps. So if I do modern style maps, I have to use more a 2D hand-drawn system. Well, if it makes you feel better, I am partially attached to fantasy, so. Well, modern age can run fantasy. You can do wild west and magic type stuff. So you can have sorcerers and gunslingers. Okay. Um, think like Dark Tower, um, Stephen King's oh, yeah. Dark Tower. Shall also, I have an additional request, uh, yep. Mr. GM. <laughs> if you could please stop putting us against enemies that can destroy three quarters of our health bar in one shot Just that would be shot. excellent it's, uh, it's the game mate it's the game yeah it's the game's a nightmare uh, <laughs> they no, I'm was not able to one kill a very powerful character with a baby a thing rifle. <laughs> yeah but you killed a baby obviously basically you can baby a really <laughs> angry baby <laughs> okay. different weapon no, no, no. Um, it is fair. It is fair. I will. I will concede that yes, being shot by a gun is usually quite injurious to one's health. Hurt. But yes, yeah. and the only reason the chick was able to survive that long is because she literally had a body with armor in front of her the whole time. Exactly. She was in body armor, and she had a guy with a flag jacket in front of her. Oh, well. As soon as she Not dropped, there that, you would have seen her health drop 
very quickly. Two Precipitously. shots. Precipitously. So yeah. everyone should get a person to hide behind then. Yeah. I didn't think part way through I should have just I should have just used just the other behind guy. You. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> but, no, but they but they live, so But the thing is that I'm not actually that uh, evil. I only accidentally drop giant dinghy machines on people's heads. Yes, you didn't know they were there. No, no, I didn't right. know it was going. To, I didn't actually know it was going to go through the floor either. To be fair, and also apparently it wasn't even in working order. It didn't even I'm work. Just That's amazing. Engineering genius. Yeah. So. You rolled super high and you got six on the stunt dice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> was that all yeah, you did? Oh, no. campaign though. No. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> well, it was, was cool. Pretty, that was cool for the. That, that was, was perfect. Actually cool. and it was a hell of a distraction. You have to admit. Yeah, no, it was yeah, looking like, for a distraction. Oh, well, you know. I mean, let us have a whole, uh, let us have a little, let us have the shootout of the OK Corral upstairs and no one noticed. (laughs) True. Uh, I mean, I sat on a box, so that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, box. And you missed a thing in a box. (laughs) Yeah, that that, that was actually the low point, I think, of our entire adventure. Not heading the door, just heading the door. I fully disagree. I fully disagree. I feel like those were two highlights. Three, three, three people three Australian three deal with the drone locked in the box. Like three highlights. I just, uh, yeah, I just Harry, imagine, man. Matt, you're trying to squeeze the bolt, uh, the thing through one of the grates, and <laughs> you just can't quite fit it through. But you spend all your time trying to fit it through. It's one of, I like you know, the idea that he got it in and missed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like it just flew to the corner and then we just went for it. Oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, this has been going for two Three. hours and fifty yes. minutes. Yeah, two hours and yeah. fifty-five minutes now. So yeah, how can it be two oh, hours? Well. I thought we started at four, uh, just after five, didn't we? But, yeah, and it's eight. It's, it's nearly three. Eight, it's yeah. nearly three hours now. Yeah. 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 No yeah, normal DVD sessions, you know. Two hours and fifty minutes. Yes, I follow you now. Three. Yes. <laughs> uh, but do you know what I will say? That in terms of D and D, well, not D and D, but role playing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, habitual it's it's much better like more manageable to have like shorter sessions because like life is busy and it's yeah. like with yeah, yeah like if we did like an mo- like two if we had two monster sessions per week like the one we already do like a five to six hour whatever four to six oh, wow. hour one per, week, but yes. one per week but then we had like a second one with you like i would just have to be like sorry can't do it but like a two hour little snip, you snip there's no? random yeah. random ones we've been doing, but it's been two hours. Me and Paul have been doing two hours ones each time. Yeah. They kind yeah. of work out perfectly two hours, two hours which is really nice. It was a yeah. set story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I, honestly, I was thinking this would be two parts, two two-hour parts, but we only oh. done one hour last week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that that worked out well enough it, anyway, because it, it did take a while this week. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Yeah. I definitely need to make dinner. But, uh, yeah, I, definitely need to, yeah. <laughs> I definitely need to like learn the actual rules for this because yeah, I know them like properly. But we're getting there. Aren't helping. Yeah, I can send you the PDFs. <laughs> it's more role playing oh, this. Do you think I have time to read them right now? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I need to learn the rules, but also I have no time to learn the rules. Yeah, you just gotta <laughs> like you know. It's a Paul is an excellently patient handholder, though. Yeah. Thank goodness, and glad I'm not learning from like. And on the DM. DM. <laughs> be like, what the frick? You didn't read the rules for magic? I can't believe you. His <laughs> rules and magic? Well, you know, the magic system, like, you know, spell casting and that for the ending. Uh, yeah, Paul, you Paul confused Paul is more, level three. Paul, and, Paul is more allowing for our buffoonery, I will say that. It makes it more fun. <laughs> Thanks. Paul, I, I've learned, I've been playing.